fucking be up to this one. It's the testing, 100th testing, app. Test, test, test. And by the way, guys, I... I never do this, and I hate this, but it's episode 100. It's a big fucking thing, so I'm going to drink. We uh, should drink. Let's have a drink on this. Cheers, guys. I'm we don't a, usually a, uh, on, imbibe, but God damn it. it's the 100th app. Cheers, guys. You got to celebrate. So. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for listening for 100 episodes. Wow, I haven't had... I haven't had something like that in me in uh, hmm. about 33 hours. What is that? It's going to be weird doing it drunk, but we'll try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A hundred episodes. Kind of mm-hmm. crazy. A hundred episodes. You've done way more than a hundred episodes, right? Uh, so yeah, we, like we, have like, we have about 70 of the old show okay. on the Patreon archives. Yeah. Um, these are from, like, the Ben's Garage days. Yes, that's when all of us were just completely, uh, we were just losing our minds and living off of uh, one Panda Express combo meal a day. And mm-hmm. I was doing well. You were always yeah, doing well. Always Joey's always ass. doing well, but he also, he's the only guy that's doing well that will tell me, like, I have no money in my bank account. Well, what happens, <laughs> <laughs> what happens is I, I, I spend all of the money that I have. No matter what the amount is, I always spend it down to zero, mm-hmm. and then I get the paycheck the next day. So there are days where it's just like, oh, I got to eat. I got to. I'll get a loaf of bread and a bunch of peanut butter or something. Yeah, you, yeah, that's insane. And Joey has the, like Great Depression meals, and I'm yeah. like, but you live in a great apartment. Yeah, you, you have a good job. Well, Joey's I, like getting breastfed by a woman in a box car. Yeah. three days. <laughs> Joey's like hanging out with like low income people, and they're all like, I'm living paycheck to paycheck. And Joey's like, same brother. <laughs> I make six <laughs> figures a year, and I just live paycheck to paycheck. Well, somebody told me like you you spend irresponsibly. You should get this app. It's called like Rocket Money, or it's one of these I have apps. That app. So I downloaded it, and it kind of is just like a database that tracks your spending, integrates with your your fucking bank, and it told me that like oh I'm spending about like eight to ten thousand dollars every single month, just on <laughs> rent and everything combined. A- everything combined, yeah. So rent is now it's like around twenty seven hundred bucks, and then uh, yeah, with like a lot of it was Postmates and then like Ubering, and so I got the app and I learned that, and then I just didn't change anything. You should be. They should make yeah. like an alternate Captain America where it's Joey, and it's but it's it's just about like just feed into like capitalism, like exactly what America wants. Oh yeah, they want you to be, own nothing just, and yeah, spend keep, all your money. Yes, just just spend everything you have. It's funny willy for nilly. Uh, it's funny to hijack the concept of non attachment and give it to like American values. The Bushido believed in non-attachment, not saving money. I think it's yeah. pathetic when anybody's like, oh, let me save. Like, well, you, you can't take it into the There's grave. Like families. Like, they're like, we're trying to, we want to have a kid next year. They're saving. Joey's like, pathetic. Oh, no. He, <laughs> you ever heard of Postmates, Buster? If mm. you have a family, it's, you know, it's responsible to, you know, you have to care for them and stuff, yeah. but if you don't, then you should be As a young save. man, you should be as wild as you possibly let can. Let me ask you this, though. If you didn't have your mom and pop back in South Dakota and the, the 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 freedom of knowing you could always go back there if shit hits the fan, would you not? Would you start Yeah, because then you could just sleep bit? on my fucking couch, bro. What are you talking about? Joey would kill him. So, so anytime let, Joey on, has to do anything like that, he'd, he'd so, rather so, die. Joey would never... Uh, no, I would, I would... If John had a better living situation, I would be honored to go, like, crash with him and stuff. But, yeah, so, like, the only, so within the last, like, 10 years since I moved to Los Angeles, the only time I went back to South Dakota with my parents was during COVID-19. I got fired from my job, and I it, I was on unemployment playing poker. I was like, fuck it. Like, why wouldn't I just go, go there? Mm-hmm. But so I... I'm not quite as irresponsible as you just made me sound. Like, you're, you're, act, <laughs> you're, act, you're, act, you may, <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. All right, what do we do? Well, uh, just you get a, you tilt get a, it you on get, its you side. You first buy some paper towels. Actually, it's one years old. Like, this baby's doing. Tilt it on its side and just let it rest. It's fine. Let it run. It's built to be. It's built to withstand that shit. Here, let me no, wipe some of that they're, off. It's ex- they're not built at all to withstand this. Do you to, have to, to, to withstand what random spills? Of course. That's gonna be fun. I've Use done. the Bryant jersey, dude. No. Here, grab something off the ground. Use um, your sock. But yeah, take your sock off. Take your sock off. Take your sock off. Use your shirt. Use that nice shirt you're wearing to wipe it up. Yeah. Use your shirt, you fucking animal. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, Sorry Viola. about it. Oh, it was Joey's you know, for fault? Me, that was my... I think oh. that was me. You know, was the one Joey? episode we drink oh. on. 
That's why and this is like a PSA. Why don't we have paper this towels down here? You many times this fucking happen? <laughs> this is why we, you know, we, you know, we want to be safe here. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. The Hit the show. laptop We're first, dipshit. For Christ's sake. You used up all like the good yeah, you dry used up all the good dry cloth for the fucking table instead of your precious laptop. That thing is not absorbing. Uh, it's got to be seeping into the hard drive. <laughs> Devin, you're going to lose all your gay porn, bro. <laughs> you mean the stuff you sent me? <laughs> yes, Devin. Yes. Very uh, good. Okay. Very good, Devin. You know, I fucking hate you. You're off the show. 100 <laughs> apps and you're out. 101 without you. Okay. <laughs> It's going to get right in there, bud. It's going to get right in. into all those cuntini videos. amazing in stuff. He's got... Oh, uh, look, he's playing videos again. He's going to fucking... Look at this fucking guy. Otters just are... T- God, they they, they suck spill ass. and they hate tech. And now it's yeah. like the worst of both uh, otter put, put your shirt trades. back on. Put your wet shirt back on. Devin thinks he looks like you Channing Tatum. Yeah. <laughs> first... <laughs> Turn on ignition. First Joey fucking breaks my phone. Look at blame others. On it. It's like otters when they don't know how to use technology that they, they instantly it's blame like they've somebody never listened else. to Jocko or anything. Right. Like, you don't know anything about extreme ownership, you fucking... If there's ever, God. like, a... Uh, Devin does have a massive truft of hair on his fucking chest. It's, it's really respectable. Holy shit, yeah, look how, like, pretty gray crazy. it is. Yeah, he's got some grays in there, dude. That's a crazy... You're like Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, you're damn right. <laughs> it's called character. <laughs> you don't have any grays because you don't have any. I have tons of grays in my hair, dude. Not, Look at you, me, not on your chest. That's where the character is. The oh, chest. Here, lift it up for a sec. I want to see if there's Why anything on the bottom. I do this whole podcast shirtless. A little wet, but it's fine. It's a nice shell. Um, um, but yeah, so I was saying I, I spent too much money. You're, you're getting the fucking Gerardo thing in the fucking water, bud. Come on now. I mean, Jesus. come on. Technology. That, that thing's not built to withstand Electronics water. are laptop, made to withstand yeah. Well, Here, move this for, forward. Thanks yeah. for keeping it entertaining. Well, yeah, I hope. I hope. Uh, I hope. Uh, this Devin's makes it cleaning into the his spill. Look, one of his, look at one of his loose chest hairs. Got into the fucking water. What an animal! Oh god, god you're fucking disgusting. Yeah, you Devin. wish you had fucking chest hairs. Ew. You want to huh? fucking try me, bro? You know what it huh? looks like under here? You know your crusty chest hairs from all the cum shots you take every fucking <laughs> yes, night? Yes, yes. You have to break them with the flat of a fucking shovel. Asshole. That really got me going. <laughs> Let's do this. That Let's was a go. secret otter. Could you put that over there? I think... This is actually my trick. I'm trying to gas you up, buddy. Oh, is it? Yeah, I got you, bud. You know what? Figure it's been a slow start for you tonight. Get it out, get it out buddy. It's been a slow start for you tonight. I'm going to need killing. more. I'm fucking killing Fucking right drinking Gator, uh, uh, what, uh, Pedialyte? Yeah, I felt dehydrated. I got a, I got a zero uh, ultra and monster energy. Don't worry. I'm going to knock into that bad boy. Why aren't you drinking? It's 100 bad. drinking? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll have one. We'll see. I'm dehydrated. I didn't get like much sleep tonight. I don't know. I hope yeah, you brought your own. it keeps you awake. The only reason I'm drinking is I got, I got no sleep last night. It's the only right, reason, well, and it's the hundredth app. All right, maybe I'll have I never one drink. In a bit. <laughs> I'll have one in a bit. You gotta drink. I have a fucking electrolyte. Everyone deserves to wind down at the end of an eight-hour day. Well, maybe I'll have one. Guy works with his damn hands. I got a goddamn electrolyte sakes, open. I'm typing away. I upload the apps. I need a damn drink. <laughs> 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 like a fucking steel worker over here. <laughs> all right. Oh man! So uh, what were we saying before? It was just some. I spent too much money, and then it's not that yeah, good. Of, we were about to move right on. Yeah, we're moving on. We're moving on. Yeah. Um. Do uh, is it Pride Month? Yeah. 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 I feel like it's literally Pride Month, that, like every other month. If they if they wanted it to be the way they want it to be, it will be. I there'll, there'll be there'll be a straight month. That's what'll happen. Is like there'll be one month where things are normal. Why does there need to be a Pride Month since everything on TV is already gay? Because they want to fucking... Year, it's year-round gay. Dude, don't get me started. We're going to get fucking removed from YouTube. You, you could... Fucking gas I celebrate shit, Pride bro. Month by turning on any show on HBO Max. Yeah, it's literally just I celebrate celebrate coming in each other's you ass. You know how I celebrate? What'd you say? What do you celebrate? By coming over to Devin's house. Oh, uh, yeah. Devin's are... Does that mean you guys Because you're gay. <laughs> yeah, you're gay, dude. Oh, right. I'm very good. Yeah. This is great. Well, how would you know? Because uh, well, he has sex and you have sex with John. Because you're the gayest man on earth, Devin. I catch no, you guys Frenching. Yeah, we French kiss all the time. At this point, isn't Pride Month redundant? I mean, like... Mo- every month is gay. The th- thing is, it's man... It's gay, gay, gay. Round the clock in this goddamn country. And I'm in favor of it. But it's, just fucking enough of the... You don't need any more uh, months. No more days. You guys don't need... No more parades. Everyone's out. Everyone's gay as shit. 
Chick Fil A is gay as shit. Oh yeah, Bud Light's gay as shit. Monster trucks are now made by fucking Little Richard. Wait, wait, Little Richard wasn't gay. Relax. Who's, oh, not Little Richard. Uh, who's the, 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 the workout Simmons. guy? Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons. I was like, God, don't the fucking talk guy. shit about Little Richard. Richard that guy Simmons. Um, Everything's no, gay. It's just, it's just, Spike it's, TV's gay now. Well, what? in the Midwest, there's stuff that's not gay. Yeah, that's like, it's like the last vestige of like fucking American society. Is the like Midwest. what? The Buffaloes? That's it. No, Everyone's the, gay now. You just go out there, and people people still are like, "Well, you're gay. That's weird." Yeah, and you like fucking. No uh, one's getting like dragged behind a truck or anything anymore. But there are now. still people. I bet maybe I bet, yeah. in America. <laughs> there's people getting their asses kicked for being gay in Middle America, bro. Oh yeah, they're getting their asses kicked. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's not like, like lynchings though anymore. Yeah. Well, if people go to nightclubs. They clubs, lynch gay people. I, I don't know, dude. Did, yeah, you, they, did you ever lynch Matthew a gay guy? Matthew Shepard was lynched. What is Matthew Who Shepard? Who the fuck is Matthew Shepard? He got uh, dragged behind a truck in Laramie or whatever. What did he do? He was gay. He was just being up. gay, and they were like, "Oh, you're." Look it up. Was he Sam Shepard's son? <laughs> Sam- <laughs> Wait, what? Well, didn't something get released that Sam Shepard was fucking a bunch of dudes? I don't know about that. Or am I tripping? Let's stick to one subject here. Well, you just said Sam Shepard. You fucking clueless. I don't know. What do you want me to do? Tommy Lee Jones is like Tommy Lee Jones. Gay. That's what I was thinking of. Tommy Lee Jones fucks dudes. Also, Robert De Niro's dad fucked dudes. Well, that's actually open, and he Matthew. was openly gay. Yeah, that's crazy, man. What did Matthew Shepard do? Who's Matthew Shepard? He gay got man. lynched for being gay. How old? Who is he? Who is he? You Look have the Wikipedia Shepherd Shepherd lynching. Right. Is he looking up? No, he just looked at Matthew Shepard. He was an gay anonymous. American student at the University of Wyoming. He was beaten, tortured, and oh, is he the inspiration for Brokeback? I like, think so. Like Jake Gyllenhaal's death, where oh, he gets really? killed with like a I, tire iron by those guys. On the I believe side of the so. Road. Yeah. Okay, and like he was left. He was left to die. He wasn't lynched. That's well. Did they kill him because he was gay? Was yeah, if you're beaten and then left to die, that's lynching. You don't. They don't have to a lynching, be there for Devin, the lynching, kill. Lynching doesn't mean uh, uh, hanging. It doesn't always mean hanging. It means it means a mob, a group of people getting together oh, to kill someone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like an unsanctioned murder. Mm, essentially, that's why I keep losing at Scrabble. Hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think he was killed. Oh, because he doesn't know what lynch means. <laughs> oh God, poor guy. Devin thinks lynching is just like a like a, they make an experimental film about you. Poor guy, Matthew. Also, Shepard. Scrabble. You don't even need to know the definition. That's true. It was a yeah. bad example, yeah, and let's bad. move on from it. <laughs> <laughs> this hundredth episode is going strong. Fellas. <laughs> Terrible start. <laughs> but what do you want out of me? You know. Uh, what do we got here? We got some JD. Well, let's explain the premise. Well, so, let's. Uh, should we do that later? Or should we just should we get into the playback pit stuff? Get into it. Should we just make the whole episode oh, of playback pit stuff? That'll be fun. You should do a song. Yeah, yeah. But just do, do it about how do, do um, Nirvana. Uh, do, no, no, no. Don't do Nirvana because it's pit stop. Do a uh, cake uh, going the distance. It's a racing song. You know what I mean? Am I right? I, I, if, if I don't Devin know. Devin thinks he can do it. Car races. Cake. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line. Cake the song. Okay. The distance. It's about racing. It's also about love, but it's about racing. If Devin doesn't know the song, it's going to be really hard. I don't hard. know much, but you know the song. Bro. I know the song, but I don't. I have nothing planned here. You can figure it out, bro. Come on, I believe in you. Reluctantly crouched at the starting line, John fucks you in the ass. Yeah, yeah. you call him, bud. You and got then you it. keep. I have yeah, nothing you can here. Do it. No, come you, on, don't get you're insecure. You're fucking with me. <laughs> go, go. You I can do it. I got nothing. Oh, good job. What is Look it even him. about? Look at him go, dude. John, you have to let him be in his element. This is Being he's a musician. Yeah, go. We'll stop yelling. But what? I'm supporting him. Why nice. would this be about? Because our it's a hundred- pit stop. It's it's playback pit stop. Pit stop is a racing term. This is a racing song. And he goes, "We're going the distance." Yeah, it's about a race car driver. The entire song, huh? All right, well, fuck, play Nirvana. Here, actually, here, go Nirvana, and then there was "Come as You Are," and somebody. Uh, I ha- got it. Okay. Oh, I didn't know there's a pre-planned thing. Well, I just saw this as a comic. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. John knows Any all song about come, come. Yeah, exactly. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. I love our audience. Oh yeah. Thank you guys. Come in John's ass. Yes. Soak it in bleach, then penetrate him again. <laughs> Doused in mud. Soak him in bleach again, <laughs> then fuck him in his bleached <laughs> asshole. Some people are fucking my ass, coming in my ass, soaking me in bleach. They're soaking me in mud. They, they keep redoing <laughs> you. <laughs> they go, they go freshen him up, and then they go soak him in bleach. <laughs> get him back in the room but with the, but me. But the mud is a debasing thing. And the mud, they, they debase like you in the mud, and they go, look yeah. at you, you're a pig. <laughs> and then they throw you back in the bleach, and they go, wipe him off. <laughs> <laughs> 
bleach that fucking dirty asshole. He's like shitting himself. <laughs> I can't fuck you. You look. You're really all covered in mud. We really should have chosen a day to do that. Where I'm, I could have a. I'll have a great version yeah. of that next yeah, he'll, week. He'll kill it with. Listen, that. I got like no fucking sleep last night. I was Crazy. at Ben's forever. Oh, we did a, a hard sketch thing and shit. Did. And then I just couldn't go to sleep, and I got fucked up. So uh, this is a weird one. Mm. But we'll get into it. Yeah, we're into it, brother. What are you talking about? I don't about? like Fucking failing at the songs. This is you, all you got, I have you, you now. You got insecure about the last one, I'm ones, famous too. for the songs. How do you think you I You know, feel? there's tens yeah. of people out there that rely on me to have yeah. a song so they don't kill themselves. You see the t-shirts we're getting sent in the mail. People are writing a suicide note. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to bring the t-shirts, by the way. What are they? Are they just soaked in, in brains? No, they're just like cool vintage shirts. It's not even no, from that's is that our boy company. from uh, Florida? Ah, uh, isn't it, I don't know if I, he wants us to say his name. I don't, I don't know. Don't we worry don't about get into it. anything, but just uh, yeah, thank you. I forget which one, but thank you so much. But uh, yeah, it's yeah. some of the things you read online for being such a small show. Hundred episodes. Hopefully, we keep growing. Punk rock podcast. Punk rock, yeah, podcast. Punk rock podcast. Okay, we're pirate, punk rock pirate radio. Pirate radio. We really like. We don't give a fuck. You know. <laughs> we have an ad. <laughs> Like, we have an ad now, but we're still punk rock. Yeah. We're, we, yeah. Have, yeah. we have an yeah, ad. They didn't really. hit me back for this week, so it's probably over. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're so fucking punk rock. Yeah, dude, we didn't sell they out. They can't we be just associated with out, us. Dude. So, but uh, what were we talking about before that? How we didn't sell out. Or, oh, uh, the, the suicide notes. Yeah, uh, so it's crazy that uh, that when you, you, you don't even feel like you're anything. I don't feel like I'm anything with that show. You know? We're not. Of we're course not. not. It'd we're be silly to even uh, six, announce that. Everybody Bushido. knows we're You get 6,000 views in in the uh, re relative to how things go these days. That ain't shit. But when you think about that, you go, that is crazy. Like 6,000 people, like that could fill yeah. a big, giant place. It's, it's a, a cool, venue. small yeah. thing. But nobody thinks in those terms anymore. Sure. Because it's nothing. Because, you know, there's mentally ill people online mm -hmm. with hundreds of millions of views. Yeah. But the 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 comments you get sometimes about like that I really don't know whether to read into them on a real level or not. Where it's like, are are, you, are these people okay? Are you gonna kill yourself? Like, oh, I've had unhinged things. I actually feel like yeah. sometimes I'm like, I better get this John's Gun Corner song right, or Elliot's gonna die. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a YouTube uh, metric to track like how mentally ill your audience is. You know, they capture like yeah, gender yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah. If they captured uh, stats on how mentally ill the audience yeah. was, I bet it would be like we're like the number one, like most mentally ill listeners. Probably. Per capita. Yeah. Yeah. And then it, but it's a very polarized audience because we have some of the coolest fucking people ever. We also. have also amazing people. Who was that dude living on a compound up in Oregon? We all had to restrict him. It was getting, it was becoming a lot. We were a little nervous about it. He he just kept going. Oh, is this the guy who's trying to like be like, Yo, DMs, you come up here, DMs, we'll fucking yeah, come up get here. You to bang. Like, I want you to fuck my mom. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it was it was it was a bit <laughs> much. He's like, come up here. He's like, my dad's primed and ready, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck my family. What was his name? I don't remember. They're all this. It's it's all a bunch of different. Joe, names. you know his name. I'm I'm thinking, and I don't remember. I don't think it's really. who we think it is, but the people um, are. You know, there's a there's a there's a big there's a a, 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 there's, a lot, there's a large amount of difference between listeners. Has anyone ever sent you guys porn? Not porn, but so I've had dudes just send me like porno. Oh, you mean like a link? Yeah, I'm talking about the actual mail because uh, people hit up Devin. And they're like, "Hey, I, I'm a fan of the show. I want to mail you something." And yeah, Devin's yeah. like, "Nice try." We don't have a PO box, and then. And then I'm like, we'll just give them my address because... Because it's not bombing. If it's a bomb, it doesn't bomb you. It bombs your, like, lobby of your apartment complex. Unless it's triggered to explode when you upon open it. opening, yeah. which is a common technique on a bomb package. Yeah, you lose your hand real quick. But listen, I'm a risk taker, so I say, Devin, just give them the address. And I just got to... Well, I've gotten a few packages now. Keep them coming, by the way. I'll keep taking the risk. What if you test it out if it's a bomb by shaking it? Does that work? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. That doesn't make it explode, right? Shaking it? <laughs> no. You shake a bomb, that's safe? Nah, that's totally fine. Oh, okay. But so I just got a a package from, well, it was like five cool t-shirts, and then it included a, a note, a handwritten note, and it basically just said, like, hey, if it weren't for... Lemon Party and Hate Watch, I, I would have killed myself. That's very nice. Yeah. And I was on the Lemon Party live stream and I read the note. I like to hear that. I like to get them weak. 
And and then uh, I like to gain the fans when they're weak. At their lowest, the lowest. standing on a bridge, and they hear one joke, and they go, "I'm gonna, I'll save. I, oh I'll wait till God. next week." And but then the dude hit me up, and he's like, "Hey man, I wasn't actually gonna kill myself. Like, I hope you guys don't think I'm crazy." Oh, okay, yeah, he's oh, joking. But, he's just being nice. He's just saying, like, man, oh, I like oh. really love the show or whatever. But listen, I want all suicidal people, like you know, because your money just goes to the government. Like, it'll just be taken from you anyway when you die so you should donate it to the hate watch patreon yeah uh patreon.com slash hate watch podcast that mm-hmm. where is where you're you're we're heading into a massive recession your money should go and five dollars a month is is pennies compared to what and if you're done planning here. on killing yourself yeah. come on don't be selfish don't keep it locked up and you a, should rob a, a, a bank. An account that nobody has access to you yeah. give it to your parents you hate them they wouldn't have made you be all depressed if you liked them that's the thing that always confuses me like if you're su- if you're truly suicidal like just rob a bank and if you get away with it then your life's better and if you don't just kill yourself. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I mean, I've never understood suicide because, like, you could always just die in a fun way. At least, like, yeah. you could just go get fucked up. You could do like mm. a leaving Las Vegas. Like, I don't yeah, understand yeah, yeah. suicide just like that way. Like, just go do like the mm-hmm. like. I think spend it's, all your money, drink yourself to death, eat a bunch of food, die in the street. Yeah, <laughs> I suspect that they aren't in the mood to have fun. Yeah, <sighs> but that's probably it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're not. They're, they're not, not in like, the mood to have fun until they party. Un- until they have a fucking boiler maker, brother. I think that a lot of these guys have tried everything. I bet they've tried getting drunk and it didn't drink through the thought. I think a lot of suicide is because they're drunk. Jeez. Right? Remember exactly. that video we watched of the guy blowing his brains out? The shotgun. Yeah, that kicked ass. I hated that, that was so amazing. much. That was really hard to that watch, so and we can't rewatch that on the uh, the what is this called today? Playback pit stop. We Play- should. Yeah. Because that was amazing. No. I just want to make you watch You're a sick individual, and you've really corrupted the show. We had, like, a lovely <laughs> vibe here before you, and you've you've really just taken us down to, like, a hostile level, like, Eli Roth-like path. <laughs> Neo-Nazis, <laughs> snuff films, murders. And that's I why, it, that's why I abuse you. That's why show. I abuse I'm you weekly. the show needed. That's dude. why, for the last three months, every episode has had the a song is, about the how is, fat gay retarded is, you are. The show was three cucks before I came in here and gave, showed you guys a bunch of guys blowing their brains out. Chinese guys getting blown up in fucking factory floors. Yeah. That shit kicks ass, dude. You wouldn't be anything without me, dude. You wouldn't be, fucking, <laughs> you'd be nothing, dude. If it wasn't for all those guys in Hunan getting their fucking legs ripped off by fucking, you well, know, the problem big is, John, you only have like two videos. Like, John has mm. two examples that he brings up every, like, like constantly. Well, they're the classics. He's like, dude, fucking do, it's the do a Abbey Chinese Road. industrial accident again. I'm like, we've done this. Well, you know, it's actually amazing. And I love all you, all you audience members, is uh, a lot of you will send me some sick ass shit and I'll watch it on my own and just kind of relax. And, by the way, and I think one of the, house. one of the funniest things about this episode mm-hmm. to me, because we just, I, I put out the idea here where we like have people send us stuff and we'll hate watch ourselves or whatever and kind of like do a reminiscent episode. But it's so kind of egotistical and hilarious because yeah. we're such a nothing show, honestly. Yeah. Still, uh, it's but like it, taking a it's victory fun to lap. Do a whole after episode winning. like it's a lifetime achievement award. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're taking yeah. a victory lap after not winning anything, mm-hmm. yeah. and that's the funniest time to take a victory lap, though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think it's fine. Victory lap. When you take a victory lap. That's what lap, this is called, victory lap. And when you take a victory lap <laughs> yes. after a real victory, you're showboating. Yeah, see, this yeah. is. That's obnoxious. To me, 100 episodes of Hate Watch, 3,700 smackaroos a month, uh, little to no traction online. Home run, you baby. It, <laughs> what a life we oh, have here. We've carved out quite a life for So ourselves. proud of you, dude. Thank you, brother. It's a Thank failure you, brother, lap. Man. We're, we've pioneered a failure lap. Failure We're the first lap. ones failure to ever lap. do it. Yeah. Failure lap. No, we got it. It's all. Listen, I've always been a grower. I've always, I've always been somebody yeah. that comes in at the end. I've always, what? I've always, uh, I, I'm a late bloomer, and I, I imagine that that's how Hate Watch will be. So all we got to do is do, you know, a, a couple thousand episodes. Right. Maybe we'll get up to ten grand a month on Patreon someday, guys. A couple thousand eps. Oh, episode. Episode sure. one thousand. By the way, I let's promise. That we'll do something really big on that one. Yeah, um, like we fucking we kill a chimpanzee. We're we blow up a chimpanzee. We blow up a chimpanzee with an RPG. That's that's been an old plan. If you're if you're yeah. a new hate watch listener, we've always wanted to do that here. And that's the chimpanzee the type of death, people you're listening to. The chimpanzee death farm is like a secret. Like that's like my that's my that's like my happy place. Like Happy Gilmore. Like if I could do anything, that's, that's what your I like. happy place. Yeah. You just when you when you when you get like really afraid, if I had, dude. If I had if I had any revenge on society, it would be the chimpanzee death farm. It's, right, it's it's the legal Unabomber. 
Because it's yeah. the closest yeah. thing to killing a human without going against, without committing murder. Exactly. Yeah, because they, they are, they have it. thumbs. Yeah, and they have yeah, innocent yeah. little doughy eyes. It's really and just and like, you have a, sign language, they're like, signing yeah, like, don't yeah. shoot. They're like, God is real, and it's I'm like, like don't like, you hit that RPG yeah, launcher. trigger. You have a lust to kill somebody with an opposable thumb. Yeah. You want to kill a, a Like primate. raccoons, chimpanzees, you know. All kind of goes down to that. Yeah. I mean, you have no follow-ups with it, though. You just kind of say mean? it. <laughs> As usual. Yeah. You just kind of say a thing, and then everyone goes, but why? And you go, but why? I don't know, dude, because you're fucking good, dude. Go back to the, <laughs> I don't know, dude. I'm fucking, I just kind of, like, grab my thoughts as they're flying through my head and <laughs> At 100 miles per hour, I grab him and then I, I don't go, have a, oh, I don't have a follow because I know Devin's is going to kill it for me. But so I don't like hearing that. <laughs> 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 All right, should we start the pit stop? Oh, yeah, I so guess. we made a big thread yeah, yeah. on Reddit, and um, the Reddit community, by the way, kind of kicks ass. If you listen and you use Reddit, look mm. up. Yeah, thank you. Hate Watch podcast on Reddit. It's it's a great. There's like uh, three people online, it says, but all three of them are really funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's me, Joey, and Devin. <laughs> Ooh, that's smart. Which one should we start with? Um, I don't care. I think, I think it doesn't matter. Here, dude, let's get some depth in here. I'm fucking missing it. Okay, guy, so a uh, little uh, trip down memory lane. Um, we, uh, I don't know how many people have been listening since this, but uh, the Johnny Depp trial was a big trial. This God, that was, uh, la was that this year? This last year? Yeah, it was. Yeah. So we got really into it. It was probably the only good distraction in anyone's life Let, let's for just, the last real year. Real quick, though, let's just talk about how we had the Johnny Depp impersonator on here right before that became big. That is true. That we did was an the episode, coolest thing about We did that. an episode called Geppetto, yes. where we, we looked into the Amber Heard Johnny Depp audio stuff before we even knew there was a trial upcoming and no one was talking about yeah, this no one's trial coming on the news so we yeah. happened to do that episode and then like a week later johnny mm -hmm. depp amber heard is everywhere yep and it was bizarre i was like what the fuck we did this on a yes. whim we were just like sitting around one day like dude didn't johnny depp and amber heard of a thing yep we had our fingers on the pulse of society so then we did a really funny episode called geppetto um and uh, then we just kind of devoted a month straight to Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Mm -hmm. And uh, it got to the point where we got really into it. We, uh, we, we hired a Johnny Depp impersonator to come on the show. We became great friends with him. Awesome guy. Uh, it was, yeah, no. So somebody had the, I think John actually was like, wouldn't it be funny to get a guy who does uh, the pirate impression and bring him in and have him, co have him cover the trial with us as mm -hmm. a pirate. And then, so I'm like, like, yeah, Jack that Sparrow. would be funny. Let me, yeah, Jack Sparrow. So I started looking up Jack Sparrow impersonators in Los Angeles and I, I ended up talking about 20 of them. Yeah. There's a whole network of them mm -hmm. and they all know each other. They all work together. And by the time I got to like the 10th Johnny Depp, Jack Sparrow impersonator, they like, I, it, I now started to go and like oh well you must know this other jack sparrow they were all talking about each other but and one of them had a monkey that he could bring and yeah, but it's yeah. like it was like, it was like, was like a five grand fucking five thousand so dollar monkey yeah it, for one hour you pay 5k for a monkey what a load which of honestly shit. would be worth it if we could afford because then we have geppetto Oh, dude, I would yeah, love... I, I would if we get that. up to 20 grand a month, we'll bring on a fucking monkey. And we won't kill him. I, I, and I mean, we won't kill him because we, we only kill chimps. Yeah, we can get a cheaper monkey, bro. I, I want a little it. capuchin monkey. Dude, we could buy a monkey for like 300 bucks. I want a monkey that stands on an old Italian man's shoulders and yeah. ba bangs to like cymbals. Uh, cymbals together. Or like a monkey that spins the music. Or box. like plays an accordion. Yeah. An old man oh, plays, yeah. an old man the plays an accordion while the on. monkey just stands yeah. on his head. And <laughs> I love those monkeys. Yeah, monkeys kick ass. I love a good monkey. <laughs> I'll tell you. I, I fucking I'll love I'll tell monkeys. you right now, like a boomer, like, I'll tell you, I just love my barbecue and my, my yacht and my monkey. <laughs> uh, so we had him on. The first episode was great, actually. Mm -hmm. it Nobody in. liked it. Well, no, some, no, a handful of people liked people it. People liked the first one we did with with uh, with uh, Depp when he was asked the pirate. We didn't act like he was here for the first like five minutes. That's always a great gag. That was very have good. on somebody and you just don't ignore them. That's hilarious. Ignoring people always funny. Yeah, uh, especially people that you did asked it, to come. Didn't we train him to only say certain things? And then we yeah, and and uh, I think. Yeah. And that was a good app, I think, actually. Yeah. Like, I actually kind of, I was like, oh, we actually still did the hate watch thing. Then we had him on again when the trial ended. Disaster. He gave us our worst he, episode ever. 
But it wasn't his fault. It was just it just didn't work. We, we asked really, him to I come. Great. We asked him to come on as Johnny Depp instead. Don't be a pirate. Be the real Johnny Depp. And so his impression of the real Johnny Depp is a guy who just well, doesn't really talk. And yeah, he's that, like, that that was that was actually the problem was that he wasn't he, when he was the pirate. It yeah. was fun. Well, Johnny Depp wasn't really talking in that trial. He was emulating Johnny Depp in the trial. So the real, so then when we had the real Johnny Depp on, we were like, just do coke and just keep talking about how you're yeah, gonna yeah, beat yeah. her to death and shit, and like you actually hit her and all that and how you whatever. Know, so this is the clip. Let's yeah. watch it real quick. Cocaine. Boys. If I was going to um, um, abuse her, uh, I would definitely hit her in the face <laughs> over and over and over <laughs> with my rings. I would definitely with my headbutt rings. her after I balled my fist back. I had a hot iron uh, just fall on her face, which she was able to cover with um, Bruce Kid. I was, I was defamed. Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, come on. He's, so he's, nodding yeah. he's nodding off again. He's nodding off. Yeah, there's, there's track shit. marks. Jesus. <laughs> it goes back to... Take the mic away. Oh, yeah, shit. Shut yeah, the yeah, hell, fuck yeah. up. Uh, yeah. What about Hunter S. Thompson? Do you miss him? Do you remember him? Your friend Hunter Your friend, S. Thompson. Hunter S. Thompson. Fuck Hunter S. Thompson. What? Fuck right. you guys. Yeah. Oh. To be honest, oh. I don't even. He's having a bad dream. Oh boy. Oh god. He might oh be boy. Having he's having. Podcast. He's got the yips. So this might be the worst podcast we've done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's up. Hey, there he is. Yeah. Who are you waving he thinks he's to? on TV. He just really. Are you, are you, uh, yeah. I'm just gonna oh. take it away. I'm not right. gonna... Don't give him the mic anymore. <laughs> You're a full blown retard, Johnny Depp. <laughs> So that's a fun you know, time. He was it was it was a, made for a good clip, but it's a yeah. long app with not with a lot of uh, valleys. Honestly, just the screenshot of all the sitting next to a guy looks exactly like Johnny Depp was fucking me. worth it. It was yeah. it was great, and that's great because that guy, lo I love that guy. That guy's He's a great really dude. cool guy. I don't yeah. want to say his name for fear of him. Uh, I don't know, getting fired from some Disney. Uh, job. He that was right the other now. great part when he came out as a pirate. Our big goof was. Um, do we have a highlight of that? Where he came on as a pirate, we found out that he does Disney stuff, and so we started uh, trolling him about, like, because he clearly was like, I can't say, yeah, I can't yeah, swear because yeah. I do Disney stuff. So we started doing, we started going, like, we showed him Lemon Party before the Lemon Party podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. We made that's him look right. at a Lemon Party. Let me try and find that. We did do that. At, well, I don't know if it's in this, but at one point, I, I said, would pirates love maps they love treasure maps you should see this little treasure map and it was rub maps <laughs> that's right <laughs> okay hold on oh fuck <clears throat> this is us showing internet you, you're gonna you, you need, need to, to learn see meat oh, oh the whole website changed they, they, they don't even do oh, it oh no lemon meat party oh, quick right, show lemon right, party. Party. Show captain lemon jack party. hold on watch lemon party Olympics. real quick <laughs> 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 you don't have that at Disney. <laughs> I forgot how classic an image that was. Oh, it's wonderful. For our generation, that was the same as like the Iwo Jima picture where they're putting. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a fun time. Yeah. Uh, and it's hilarious. The guy literally worked for Disney and he was coming here and we were he was doing domestic abuse jokes for us and saying he hits he hits Amber Heard and he's doing cocaine. What a champ. Yeah, he what a ass. champ. So then there was an earlier time before that gag. We only had really two gags here on the Hey mm -hmm. Watch podcast. We had Johnny Depp on. And then uh early like, I think maybe the beginning of last year, this is like two years ago. Man, 100 apps takes about two years, two and a half, I guess. This is like a year and a half ago. We uh, Joey found a baby with magical powers, a baby with the strength of the Hulk. <laughs> and his name is Joshua the Super Baby. Mm -hmm. And we got obsessed with him. Joey is just a Joey's like the king of carnival barkers. And I just like martial arts. Joey's an yeah. incredible showman. And Joey, Joey loves like P.T. Barnum level shit. Joey got obsessed with this kid. Not the kid. But the, yeah, the kid. His, his no, talent. Yeah. His talent. But that sounds a weird sentence to say publicly. Joey's obsessed with the kid. Uh, but you developed a relationship with his father. Yes. We found out his father is like the sweetest man of all time, even though he is uh, forcing his baby to become a uh, bloodthirsty maniac <laughs> at a young age. Um, but he was, a, he was a very wonderful Brazilian man, and Joey developed a big relationship with him. And why don't you explain how you kept uh, you kept telling this dad that we actually were wanted Joshua the Super Baby, who's like one years old, two years old? You actually made a video of the origin too. That's Maybe right. we find that. I'll try to explain but it. So, so right why don't you explain? Look it up, and I'll explain. Yeah. I, I have it. I have it. But just like, okay, why cool, don't you cool. explain yeah, what, yeah. We, we were, uh, what, what what we were doing? How it led led with to the dad. this? Yeah, your yeah. relationship with the father. Right. So somebody at some point just sent me a link of this 
this little super baby who had it was like it had like a hundred million views on TikTok or something, and this little one year old baby had learned Taekwondo from a former Brazilian Taekwondo master to and he could break boards and he could do these really technical Taekwondo kicks. And then I noticed that like at some point the I looked up the dad and he had a thing in his profile where it was like, if you want to work with us, just call me and here's my number. And it was like a public number or something. So I just called the number and he answered and I'm like, well, hey, listen, I happen to represent Hasbala, the little dwarf. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's got a big fight coming up, but we're thinking about just throwing that fight out. And it's a much bigger fight to have him fight a little baby. He fully believed it too. Exactly. Yeah. So, so I'm like, okay, uh, they're the same height. They're similar weight. Probably. I think this is going to be the biggest pay-per-view of all time. And this Brazilian sweetheart, he's like, oh, yes, brother. Like, Joshua will kill that little elf. And I, Jesus I, fucking Christ. I, and I, I kept saying, like, uh, I kept making him uh, call Haspela a fake baby. Yes. Because <laughs> the, way, the way he didn't know who Haspela was, the way I explained it to him was, like, here's this grown man pretending to be a little baby. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. He's not pretending to be a baby. He's just a little dwarf. He's just a dwarf. Yeah. Yeah. So now I've got them all fired up. So we convinced the dad that there's another baby out there taking all the fame. Yeah. And I said I found a venue in Mexico where they would let us do the fight, and it's going to be like millions of dollars for you guys. And he was the dad was completely in. He was to like, the point where Joey and I were getting nervous. We're like, dude, what do we tell this dad this that guy, there's no yeah. real fight in Mexico? Like, we don't got a fight set up. It's illegal. You can't. You do, we want. We didn't know how to tell him. Like, it's illegal for your infant to fight. I remember Joey was feverishly. <laughs> weren't you feverishly <laughs> trying to find an actual venue to have this fight at for a minute? Yeah. So I, I looked up. Uh, like, <laughs> first of all, I started checking the big gyms. Uh. MMA gyms, and then I found Hegan Machado's gym, which is uh, a celebrity. Machado's gym. Hegan Machado, <laughs> he trains like Ashton Kutcher and a bunch of big uh, celebrity uh, jujitsu guys, and uh, they agreed to let us have the Super Baby fight Joshua in their gym. Mm -hmm. Like the gym that Ashton Kutcher trains at was going to let this happen, and uh, they agreed to it. Everybody agreed, and the dad wanted it to happen. And then uh, we, we didn't have Hasbillet yeah. involved, but that's mm -hmm. what they thought. So this is the start of us kind of finding out and trying to do the fight promo stuff. And then later on, we ended up having Joshua on the show uh, with his father. We'll show that after this. So check this out. For the Super Baby. Joshua is one years old. Like This baby's doing this amazing stuff. He's got tremendous power. Yeah, so I go wow. to his page, and I find out that his dad runs the page. Joshua, the He's Super He's trying baby. to monetize this sensation. The Super Baby. He is right? a sensation. The fuck, it's oh, an um, it. unbelievable baby. No, it's remarkable. No, so I call the dad. I can't believe how good he is, how, how powerful his kicks are, and his form is incredible. It's, I've never seen anything like it at that age. Yeah, thank you so much, and, and it's amazing. It's kind of like a... It's incredible. You like big masters, like the martial art master. They call me all the time. They said, "How, how that happened?" This that kid like a one of the questions. Do you really? By the way, do you really think her martial art masters calling his dad and being like? Who is this baby? Like, probably. We, you think so? Really? Yeah, I think he probably I, got a few. Yeah, yeah, because a lot of these martial arts masters, <clears throat> they're not rich. They're people who now make a living training at gyms, and yeah. a, a lot of them make most of their money training kids. So they're probably just being like, "How did you get the kids to be that good? If you could show me how to do that, I'm my gym's going to be amazing." I kind of yeah. worry about Baby Joshua though, because you got to let kids decide what they want to do and what they like. Oh uh, yeah, he do has, you? He hasn't had a chance. Yeah, he's always going to feel like he has to be a kid kicking machine yeah. his whole life. I would say that to them too, where they uh, I'd get into a private conversation with uh, his dad and his mom. And I would just be, I'd, I'd kind of uh, in a roundabout way, just be like, is, is he, does he ever like fuck up any kids at daycare or like, is that, yeah. is, no, I know. should like, he know these moves? Yeah. yeah. And they'd be like, oh no, brother. Like Joshua has a great discipline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Joshua cutting weight actually right now. <laughs> He's shredded. <laughs> He's cutting down to fourteen pounds. <laughs> I let you go. I, so I don't know what like the legality of this is, but would would you guys be open to putting Joshua the super baby up against Hasbula, the Dagestani dwarf who is popular <laughs> online right now? Um, He's like two feet tall, and he's not that strong. Like I think Joshua would probably destroy him. <laughs> Look at that baby go! Look at those leg kicks on that baby! 
Holy Morgan. shit. So this is the dad. Joshua is only one in six months. We'll be on the news. Things around will call attention all over the world. Look at these hidden bottle caps of bottles. Amazing, baby. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And I ain't got nothing to say. Woo, look at that. In the morning. Yeah, hit that fucking water that jug, kid. Goddamn right. Oh. Yeah. Hey, look at that. Celebration 100 apps. 100 apps. 100 apps. Get in there. Take a seat. We're uh, we're there. rehashing the Joshua Super Baby days. Oh, God, you yeah. smell good. We've, What's up, everybody? We've forgotten about all the ridiculous gags we've spent money oh, on, and awesome. everything we've ever spent money on for this show is completely oh, tanked. Well, that's awesome. What's up, five people? I managed to keep his fans. That's awesome, everybody. I'm so let's let's rewatch me, everybody. Let's rewatch all of my worst. Hey, listen, you you know memory. You, no. uh, you had a bit of an addiction, Richie, and uh, the people. How is rehab? Better? Ben, by the way. Yeah, what's it up? How's, how uh, is it? I mean, you know, you learn a lot about yourself. Parents weekend was rough. Um, <laughs> and how is Passages Malibu going for you? <laughs> I mean, it's expensive, man. I spent a lot of money to be sober, yeah. but... Are you still sad about Tom Sizemore? You're passing away your friend, your close rehab your friend? Sensei? Yeah. Sizemore passed away? You didn't I mean, even know. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been coming I'm out sorry of... sorry you had to find out like I've been that. coming You're out of a bottom, man. What, what, what's what been going on? Ah, you were I don't have phone. phones. I don't have uh, <laughs> any access well, to anything. Okay, Richie, uh, um... W uh, how's Bam Margera doing? Oh my god, fatter, <laughs> my god, he's fatter than ever. Can the you guy, listen? You because I know you're you're still like you're still uh, in the uh, you're, you're you're still consumed by addiction, but like I know yeah. you're doing a little better than Bam Margera. Like, have you ever have you tried to stray him the right way? Well, no, I'll, I'll tell you. I tr I tried. I mean, are I, you in his ear at all? Because like he's really a problem. People think he's gonna die soon. I, I try. You know, every, everybody him. tries with him, Devin. The, there's therapists. <laughs> there's fucking <laughs> AA sponsors. There's people older than me. I don't. I'm a newbie. You know, I'm new. Yeah. People have years in recovery, and they're more fit. You know, to take care of Bam. But you know, I just I want I just want to say Bam needs to want he needs to want to do it himself. Yeah, he does. You can't he force does. anyone to yeah. therapy. Exactly, you know? Bam. Yeah. Unless he wants to get sober, yeah, he's not going to get sober. Richie can do whatever he wants. Richie could talk to him. He could come the, the wheatgrass shots. Let him stay yeah. at his couch again. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, I, I, well, Richie's fine. Bam is running out of money, but Richie's still living off of that. You were on that MTV show 11 mm -hmm. years ago for like seven <laughs> seconds, and you still, the royalties are still helping, right? That's right, Devin. That's 100% right. And I, I, I managed, thank God for them, those royalties was able to go to Malibu Passages. Passages. Yeah. And I spent, and I spent <laughs> a lot of money to get sober, but I, I would like you, a White Claw, though. Uh, do you oh, actually? Oh, yeah. oh shit! Uh, okay. Can you film yourself doing this? I I love feeding an addiction. Yeah, well, have at it, pal. Have at it. Drink I up. Mean, how many days do you have before you do that? Yeah, how many days? Uh, when was the last time I was on the podcast? Give me your coin, then. Uh, <laughs> give me your coin. <laughs> oh man! Right. I mean, uh, should I? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you I should have, have one. one. You should have one. It's episode 100. It's yeah. episode 100. 100 calories. It's episode 100. Anything for the A Watch yeah, podcast. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. To 100 years. To 100 years. 100, 100 years. years. <laughs> oh, cuz. All right. So let's get back to little Joshua the Superhero. So these are the text messages. This is Joshua's dad. Uh, yes, I think we can do a great execution of both them skills, and babies don't get hurt more like a cute demo fight for all the. Orions understand that this is a, just a big motivation for all babies and kids that everything oh, is possible. I see. He was trying to be like, yeah. it's just a demo fight. It's not going to be a real fight. And then I quickly correct him. Man, I'm just right. and bored with myself. Hey there, baby. Look at that beautiful baby. I could use just a little you can't start like, about you're growing up in front of us. You know what I mean? Come yeah. On, let's get to the text. Do you still see anything on Instagram? I, yeah, I do. I was on the phone all morning with the... This is Joey. I was on the phone all morning with reps from Florida's Athletic Commission. I talked them down in the age requirement, but they wouldn't go under three years old for full contact. Sad! And yes, I agree with you. This is going to inspire babies around the world. I love how you went to Florida. Yeah, You're like, I think in America, the top only team. state that would let this happen. <laughs> Okay, yep, and so we will probably have to do it in Mexico or another lawless place. <laughs> and also, yes, technically it will be a 
demo fight, <laughs> according to the paperwork. But in reality, we will have to let them loose in the cage, or else we'll get a lot of backlash online for doing a fake fight. Hasbulla has pillow hands and won't be able to do any serious damage to the super baby. If he can even survive one of those kicks, LOL. <laughs> 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 but yup, pain is temporary, and we'll have the ring staff bull veterinarian on site who is actually probably better or as good as a real doctor. <laughs> yup, I'm projecting huge worldwide news attention and big money. <laughs> Great job, Joey. I love you so much. Bull veterinarian. And then Joshua's dad goes, yes, prayer hands. Like, woo, we need get a lots of sponsors for three months. For me, be able to concentrate on Joshua's training. And also we can film the whole training can even generate more drama to the fight. Oh, yeah. Starry yeah. eyes. Hell yeah, Joshua's dad. He's seeing stars. God bless there this we go. man. And then we, oh, somebody made this. And we, then we set up. And a my place, I check my look in the mirror. Want to change my clothes, my hair, my November 27th. <laughs> and we all saw that happen at the Plaza de Monumental de Tijuana, Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious seeing like a Dagestani name and like a Brazilian name versus each other. And it's just two it's, babies. It's a perfect <laughs> matchup, yeah. yeah. So then here's, why don't we explain? So then we kept going with this bit that was generating little to no traction for us. But we, that's what we like to do here. We like to just stay ourselves mm -hmm. we capitalize on stuff that never yields any views so, or profit. <laughs> yes. we love to capitalize on stuff that has no profit um so why don't we explain what happened this next so, time? So then at the end of the conversations that I was having with Joshua's uh, dad and uh, his mom, uh, they told me they're about to move to Los Angeles because they're trying to get the baby famous and rich. And they're like, well, we must take super baby to L.A. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. him we to be famous, to, yeah. famous action baby. His dad's blasting the Entourage theme song. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, well, oh, this is perfect. Let's promote the fight on a podcast. I have access to oh, this great podcast that these guys do in L.A. It's called the Hate Watch Podcast. It's going to be huge for you guys. You said you have access. You didn't even act like you're No, yeah, I was acting like I was uh, just a fight promoter that knew the podcast. Right. And then so I'm like, here's what we'll do. <laughs> That's so manipulative and awful. <laughs> That's so fucking And then good. to still come out of this with a great relationship with the father. I, We're all I, like copacetic. Yeah. We still like each other's shit on Instagram. But little did this Amazing. guy know that Joey was completely manipulating him. Yeah. And you like kind of using his, his, you know, his lack of knowing the language against him. And also like he's actively trying to exploit his own baby. So I'm like, yeah. well, who am I? Because he took the baby on Steve Harvey's show after this. He, the baby blew up after us. I'm not kidding. We literally, we are, we're kingmakers here. We, <laughs> we, the baby was all, we, we talked about the baby after he was on Hate Watch. Like, a, a, like two weeks later, he's on like Steve Harvey. He's on like Oprah. He's on like all these ESPN, shows. ESPN, Sports Center. But so then I was like, and so on this podcast, I'm going to get us on this podcast. I think I can get us on. And I got, Hasbro's going to be on. I said, Hasbro is going to be there, too. Yeah. And then so what we did is we found, like, a Dagestani actor on, like, some L.A. actor. You could look up actors and just, like, filter it by. Guy has a Russian accent. I did that because I'm like, nobody had a Dagestani accent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I found this actor, and I talked to him on the phone, and I'm like, well, could you do Dagestani? And he's, he, he lied and said that he could. He just did a Russian this accent. This guy was an oaf. Yeah. We, he was we, an oaf. We found, like, a complete, like, a Russian oaf that, <laughs> like, just makes, like, a little extra cash. Like, it's like an Uber driver just mm -hmm. being a Russian oaf he's in, like, says, weird movies and TV shows. Right. He's a semi-out-of-work actor who's been, uh, like, a background guy in John Wick and shit like that, where yeah. he's just, like, they need a Russian-looking goon. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I said, okay, your name, I gave him a Dagestani name, which I can't remember, and I said, come in, your, your character is you, represent Hasbro as his fight promoter and you're trying to hype up this fight <laughs> and then so I told uh, so uh, we got to the this podcast studio that we rented for this one thing and uh, the super baby and his dad his mom showed up first and I said okay so we don't know if Hasbro is going to show mm -hmm. or it's a rep might show we don't know for sure but so let's just do this show and, you know if they show they show but if not we'll just kind of do a show together yeah and then uh the fucking Russian guy is now, and he's just such a classic Russian that on the way there, he's like, he's like, brother, I, I need another, um, uh, 
two hundred dollars for my driver. <laughs> for my driver, <laughs> he said he had a driver, yeah. and then I remember as Joey tells me that Joey walks out of the studio that we rented. We rented a fucking studio for this bullshit. <laughs> we pay. We did all these things we for made- nothing, <laughs> and so I walk out of the studio we rented, and Joey's like, "What is his name?" Bogdan. Bogdan. He goes, Bogdan wants 200 more dollars for his driver. And I go, that guy doesn't have a fucking driver. I look over. I see Bogdan driving a, like, jalopy, like, Toyota. <laughs> I see him driving, like, a Toyota, like an old Toyota Camry He's down looking, the alleyway. He was looking yeah. for parking. He was looking Devin for parking. Just and I go, that's saw. him. He's a fucking driver. <laughs> One of his windows is Epic to- Epoch Times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or whatever that fucking Did paper you is. Did you pay him? We didn't give him the extra money. Okay, no, good. Good. Yes, oh, you I did. did. You did. What I a did. con! Oh, this guy. Wow. I had no idea. It wasn't like two hundred. It was like forty or something for his driver. Yeah, for his driver. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. But so then, anyways, we start doing it. The baby is there, and I guess just play. It, it kind of worked out. I think it was a fun moment. Nobody cares, but that doesn't even have a thousand views on YouTube. That's, that's what, great. The, the funniest thing. What is, a life I live. <laughs> in my. <laughs> Here's our clueless <laughs> great victory lap we're That's doing. Victory lap! <laughs> yeah, we really shouldn't walk Devin down memory lane. Yeah. Ooh, it's not ooh, a good... Ooh, it's, not, it's not fun. This t- the ten years of nothing but fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, th- this just shows you how like uh, out of the loop I am when it comes to marketing and podcasting and stuff, too. Is because when this happened, like as I'm like, well, this we're going to be famous now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, are you guys... I'm like, is everybody okay with being famous? Famous? I was. I literally was like, "Well, fuck! This is gonna do like millions of views." Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. We were looking yeah. at vacations in Barbados and shit. <laughs> Joey, Joey was very bullish on the Super Bowl. It was our least viewed. I think maybe our least. Literally viewed. our most hated episode. And everybody yeah. hated it. Everyone hated. Not it. Not hated. There was people that like loved the yeah. gag. But like, just why aren't you guys watching stuff? Because like, there's always like wrestling fan people out there yeah. that get what we were trying to do. But for the most part, people are like, yeah, I like the show, but I don't know what, because it's not us. We're just this is my thing. favorite yeah. thing we've ever done and the most fun I've ever had. Right. But it, everybody else hated it. Let's do it. Super baby. Who do we have? Is here, folks. Okay, what is this? Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh my God! Oh, God. So we had Joshua God. come in. He, he did What's some practice heck? kicks on us. He has had Joe, his you look great. today. That's a, it's, Joshua's it's antsy though. It's he needs to be. He wants to Joshua play something. Wants wood He's or got something. a bloodlust. This baby. Look at him. Oh my God! Breaking wood. Yeah. Joshua. 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 The strongest <laughs> baby in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I could watch this all day. This is I mean, incredible. This is domestic abuse. Oh. Oh, you knocked him out, Joshua. I hate Hasbro. He's a fake baby. Do you agree? Yeah, of course. <laughs> God, look like man. Shit. He's a, we're he's... all wearing sunglasses. <laughs> like, we're about to become huge stars. <laughs> Johnny Cage over here. <laughs> we, we suck so much ass. Look at Joey. <laughs> Look at Joey. Look at Joey. He's got the polo. He got the black power uh, polo on with I'm the like, Ray Man. Dude, dude, the next big thing is gonna cook a kick a pencil out of my mouth. Yeah, the uh, next big thing. I'm going baby. viral. <laughs> It's fraud. Yeah. That's fraud. His yeah. manager, by yeah. the way, is supposed to be here, but I don't know if he's going to show I'm sure up he's or not. Late. And, and he oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God, sir! Microphones in Dagestan. Come on, I'm sorry we don't have any cabbage soup for you, but here's a mic. Polak will kill your super baby in one minute, and we don't want fucking dead babies. You want your kid get killed? You got. We don't kill the fucking babies. Don't you understand? First of all, if anyone dies, it's going to be Hasbullah, your fake baby. He sucks. I don't even talk about death because the athletic commission is going to be on me about that. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Universal <laughs> remote. <laughs> what you going this guy fucking sucks, Universal dude. remote on docking station. Don't you, don't you know that Dagestan you now are the old champions of the world? Okay, what are you bringing here? Okay, Joshua, watch hey, out. There's a wow. there's a creepy Dagestani man behind <laughs> you. Look at this guy right there. Yeah, very good. Look at him. Wow. That that's a, that is play to the crowd. Yeah. That is just that's more that's showmanship good. than Hasbulla. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is not the baby. What? Here. What do you mean that's not oh, a the baby? The baby starts like wailing. Wait, 
<laughs> Do not curse around the baby. Hang on. Shit, you he have... broke it fair and square. He broke the board. The you, you made him cry. <laughs> <laughs> you just made the baby cry. You are fucking Do not make Joshua cry. <laughs> He's a dwarf. I will see you in court. Hey, hey, take the info off. Oh, this... We know you don't have, don't have technology like that. This is a like lawsuit. That. This guy's trying to sue us. Hey, here's what I think about that. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. That's what we think about your fake lawsuit. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. Get the fuck out of here, pussy. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, pussy. I'll kick your ass, bitch. Touch a baby? Fucking pussy. Fuck you. The promoter guy, you see, the, the promoter guy run away because he said Josh is not a baby. He's, he's, not, a, he's not a baby. He's, he's a he saw Joshua kick the board. His dad really thought the guy thought that it was that he was he was claiming that Joshua was a fake baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah that's a thing that we the made the guy like, say. Can you um, believe that guy thinks he's dwarf? Um, <laughs> yeah. Afterward, we had to like calm him down. Yeah, yeah we he, did. He, he was, like, wanted he was to beat that guy's ass. Uh, we were like, Caesar, we paid him. Like, it's okay. No, we never told him. Oh, we never told him. Oh, no. oh to this day, he still thinks that all happened. Well, we, we're just like he's trying to promote the fight. He's just doing what he can do to promote the fight. <laughs> 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 Don't take it personally. Yeah, he said Josh is not a baby. He's a fake he baby. thought Joshua was an adult because of how Joshua strong he's he got the Brazilian toxoplasmosis. He's <laughs> freaking Wait, out right on. now. Oh my god! Joshua! Whoa. Joshua! Whoa. Joshua! Whoa. Joshua! 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 It's probably the most tra tra <laughs> traumatic experience of that baby's life. As it's Standing insane. on a table looking at a bunch of strangers chanting at him. Like, we're about to, <laughs> like it looks like a human sacrifice. A Dagestani man was just saying that he's going to get killed gonna, by a midget. A there's a giant Dagestani oaf in the room going, We fucking killed babies! Uh, we all did it for a gag. Just traumatizing a, a fucking infant. Well, that's what we do here with punk rock. By the way, somebody on the internet, I saw a comment said, why, does, why do they have to piss so much? And the answer is, I guess because we're drinking beers all the time. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I bet yeah, we're piss. constantly hydrating. Yeah. That's the answer. Yeah. 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 Summed it up. I, I, I just can't believe that guy couldn't have worn, like, a shirt or, like, a tie. Or he yeah. came in wearing a fucking tank top. <laughs> he looked homeless, man. So, uh. been going through some stuff. There's a couple things. I don't want to start some of these without Joey here. Uh, but Judge Joe Brown is, um, he's in the news, apparently. He's, he was on a show with Kwame Brown. Really? And he, uh, what, did, what did he do? He, he said something oh, where he, he uh, hates... Um, uh, talking about Michelle Kamala, Obama? Oh, no, Kamala, Kamala Harris. Harris. Yeah, 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 he's going yeah, yeah, yeah. off on Kamala Harris. Yeah. And uh, we, we'll play that another time. But, like, we had a big Judge Joe Brown period mm -hmm. of the show. Mm -hmm. This is kind of when John first got out yes. here, yes. I think. And so apparently somebody told me to go to this episode. Why didn't you tug it, son? Number 33 on the Devin Costa channel uh, when we, where we used to have our Hate Watch episodes. And I don't remember what this is, but somebody said it was funny. So we'll see. Let's go. One gets away with anything in my court. I will fine you $25. If you don't have a collar on your shirt, it's $50. $50. $50. You know, show him something different. On this $25, $50 year, or life. Yeah, I think this is when cool. you started with the we life. We were thing. chilling at my oh, house. God, yeah. We were supposed to go hook up with some girls. It was me, him, and his cousin. And basically, Michael, he got upset. Well, he wasn't even upset, but he just was playing too he still much. Still got that puffer jacket. And he, mm. all of a sudden, he, he ended up yeah. pouring out. Uh, oh, oh, you, oh, you know I got that jacket. <laughs> 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 so, I guess... Nobody that listens to the show doesn't know what the Tugget guy is by now, right? I think there are people who are out of the Tugget loop. They're out of the Tugget loop? Yeah. Let me explain it real quick, John, for a second. and then Because this is like, this is, we're just doing jokes. This is the the period of time we were doing Tugget guy jokes. Yeah, yeah come jokes. Right. So the Tugget guy was like, John and I went on a road trip. We drove out. I drove him back from Atlanta. Uh, we went to a Cracker Barrel. We were sleep deprived, uh, yeah. hungover, mm -hmm. wacky. Came up with this big bit where, like, there's a crazy man. That, we had like, the worst meal ever at a Cracker yeah. Barrel. We were thinking about ways it could be worse. And the way we thought we, it could be worse is if Devin got a country fried steak. And instead of just eating the country fried steak, an old man came out from the kitchen, pulled his cock out, asked if he wanted extra gravy, then came on the steak and then shot you in the head. And the then third killed me. Revolver. And then he goes, time to die. He, yeah, he, that's he, the he, guy he comes out and goes, you want some gravy? And yeah, his yeah. cock is rock hard. <laughs> 
and he comes on your steak, and then he goes, time to die, and he blows your brains out. Yeah. With like a that's, that's what we yeah, thought of that a, cracker. I mean, this is the type of stuff that we do here, and this yeah. is the type of brill, and this is why we fucking are killing it. <laughs> what you were because the consumption of alcoholic beverages that was going on. Right. I had some liquor in my refrigerator. But well, you're over 21, so what? You're entitled to. Yes, sir. And basically. He's not, but yes, go sir. ahead. And basically, he got my lotion or off Whoa. my kitchen table, and he just started pouring on the floor, talking Lotion. about... As you can his... tell, we were really concerned about the <laughs> listeners yeah. at this period of time. Yeah. Was I'm this literally, just I'm just like playing with a can. We don't even have the video on the screen. Dead homies. Then he got my liquor. He started Look pouring it on the floor. This feels about, like it's somehow like community service. <laughs> no, this actually... <laughs> <laughs> this looks like detention for podcasters. A, a judge sentenced you to do. You have to do a hundred podcasts. That's your. Point. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do a hundred podcasts. Yeah, this episode kind of feels like we're getting like a big release. Yeah, 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 yeah. we finally yeah. done. Like we walk out, there's going to be a bunch of like other white losers that are like you popped your cherry. <laughs> At the end of this, we're all taking our ankle bracelets off, <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> We're out. <laughs> Later, guys. Like last time. Oh. And I told him to clean it up. But he, but little do these people know we've become institutionalized. Oh, yeah, we exactly. can never stop potting. <laughs> took his time. He acted like it wasn't that important. So I felt disrespected. There's a reason for everything, Devin, Judge. fucking so pause the video. What? Make a joke. Devin, There's a reason for everything. And Judge Joe Brown, basically, he poured the liquor and the lotion on my floor, said it was for his dead homies. I so basically, he put the lotion in the bucket. He <laughs> said... <laughs> Yeah, that was great, Devin. You like you suck. <laughs> I told him that I was. I'm like I nodding off in the, the fucking corner. Anymore. I wasn't even on it no more because. And then look, I don't know. You look like a gay lumberjack. Why? Do, why is this? Look at you. You look like you <laughs> fuck look logs. Fucking, look at my fucking hairline, dude. <laughs> you, you look like you shove logs up your <laughs> it ass. Looks like I've had brain surgery. <laughs> Where this dude came out with an apron on, no pants. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he brought his apron up. So he said, you want some more lotion on your he carpet? Goes, you want some more lotion on your carpet, cuh? <laughs> <laughs> So goes, I was there in the living room, and he was pouring out liquor for his dead home. Wait, is this when he came out with Tug It Cut? Tug It Cut. Tug It yeah, Cut. Yeah, okay, yeah. lovely. The, the Crip Tug It guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's defending himself. <laughs> so I said, you want, do your dead homies want some gravy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm at my establishment, right, Judge? And I'm at the crib, Judge. This, this fella right here. I'm at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> So I look at him and I say, I'm at the crib, Ma. Listen, Judge. I'm at the crib, right, huh? <laughs> and my partner over here says, says he wants to give me some gravy. My co-defendant says he wants some gravy on the carpet. And this other feller to my right says he pouring it out for his dead homies or whatnot. And I say, you know we do it, Doug, my pecker for our dead I'm, homies. I'm so happy. Huh? That our fan base has put up with this bullshit. I can't I, believe I, the people. Devin and I have thought that was the height of comedy for like three months. Was an idea I'm of an old I'm not kidding. Man John and I coming. were like, yeah, life sucks, but the Tug It guy. <laughs> the Tug It guy kicks ass. <laughs> this <laughs> weird it. joint. Just literally only to... Some, I mean, people seem to like it, I guess. He's got dicky yeah. shorts on. He's got his socks real high. He goes, enough of that. <laughs> he, pulls up, he pulls up one of those bicycles. <laughs> 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 the big handlebars. With the high handlebars. <laughs> he's, 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 hey, guy. He <laughs> but he still has no pants on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a hard on. He has an apron and has no pants. And he has a giant erection. He rides, got, he rides into the car room. He's got Air Force Ones on. With high socks and, and, and no, apron. And no pants. <laughs> but naked. He's got pigtails. He's got like Snoop Dogg. Big oh tits. no! <laughs> the evolution of the Tug It guy. Yeah, this is when this is when John was running the show. Uh, you gotta get back to this level, buddy. I'm gonna oh, I'm great. gonna make this I, an know, uncomfortable moment for you. Need, I know you're having a good time watching yourself. You need to be better like this. It was it was listen, bud. Uh, maybe it's had, like a Native American. It maybe it's a Native American thing where they said like if you cut their hair, they could no longer navigate. Yeah, the woods. did you lose your your powers yeah, with the hair? I think that was uh, kind of like Samson. when you, when you shave a dog, you know? he lost his hair. Yeah, yeah. go back to the chemo hair 
Yeah. Go back to this. Grow my hair out again? You you Before have enough hair? hair to grow it out, dude. You you kind of well, no, I, I you think overdo that's, the ball. I'm balding thing. No, I think that you Look should buzz thing. your head um for in like for looks, but for the show it might be so better if you out. bring back the the late I stage legitimately don't hair. think John looks better with a shaved head. Oh, I have an oddly shaped head. Cut he to, looks cut better to with him. His hair. Where, no, cut to him where you can he's, see like the ball. He's balls, like hip hop. He's <laughs> like, hey, he goes, I told this. I told no, this. Right I'm right constantly self soothing. That's the thing about it. I'm constantly rubbing my head. I did that too. It's insane. Yeah. What's that? Weird. Well, does that have anything to do with growing your hair back out? He rubbed. He self soothed all the hair I'm off. Fucking self soothing the hair out, dude. Ah, no, okay. rubbing my fucking well, hair out, bro. Oh, so that, then you don't want to be bald. No, that's not why. Well, no, when I'm you're bald, bald because of genetics. Better? My father's bald. But actually, no. This yeah, looks terrible. John looks head. way better right now, obviously. Right. Yeah, hmm. I'm, I'm I, dis- ass. I disagree. Important to tug it for, for his <laughs> dead said, homies. You know what else is wavy? Gravy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need, Dev? Dev, we need to have like uh, another another like week or a couple days where we just go off and we howl at the moon and fucking come up with some other unhinged fucking fantasy. Yeah, let's do it. Because we thing. haven't had anything like that in a while. Well, let's go on a fucking road trip. Yeah, we'll go on a road trip. I mean, we're going to come up with one in South Dakota for sure. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. By the I mean? way, like, oh, yeah. if this isn't a, a satisfactory 100th episode to you fucking maniacs that are, like, judging a, a, a nothing show like where, you know, mm. The Sopranos... Uh, we're gonna we're trying to do like a trip somewhere for maybe July fourth or something. We don't really yeah. know. I've I've got one of the days secured. I'll be good. We were so. thinking Rapid City, but Joey kind of is like uh, at odds with everybody in that town. At yeah, the Joey's got a. I, I'm re- yeah, I'm at odds with all my friends from South Dakota. Brock from the show, uh, who's been on the podcast, mm-hmm. he's called in on Bone Crusher. I said, hey, July fourth, plan something fun. We're all gonna come, and then like two weeks later, he's like. Oh, dude, I f- oh, we're going to Denver to drink in Denver on that time instead. That's like what, that's like what, that's the uh, equivalent of people in like South Dakota. That's their version of like, like backpacking through Europe <laughs> <laughs> is I'm, f- I'm driving to Denver to see what the Denver bars are like. <laughs> no, they all, it sucks. Denver fucking sucks. Denver's terrible. Everyone there looks like they cut their own hair. It's yeah. Pop- it's probably fine, but uh, it's not a vacation, and it's not nearly a good enough excuse to, to ditch fucking Devin not and John. Has anyone on Earth ever said, I'm going to vacation in Denver? It's the, They just, they're six no, hours away. Snowboard drives, it's maybe. Cheap. You go to Aspen. It's really yeah, You go to Aspen. Aspen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Aspen vaca- you know, vacation in Denver. Yeah, nobody goes. You go to Denver, yeah. you stay there, yeah. and then you drive into, like, Breckenridge. Right, you know, vacation no. in Denver, everybody. Come yeah. on. Vail, Colorado. You know, we're, yeah. making, we're doing so well. We're all... So I can't tell if this gets funnier, but we'll play for like like uh, 15, 20 more seconds. Early <laughs> <laughs> day, I felt disrespected. When so, he made me tuck it. He goes, tuck it. I was like, I don't know what this dude up to. <laughs> I mean, we all like were supposed to see some girls. You know what I'm All right, I've had enough of this. <laughs> Next clip. I did it. I saw your thing on Reddit, and I went to it. Thank you. Um... <laughs> Showbiz party. I think in this clip, Joey threatens to kill the president. Fuck. Mm. Okay. Or the mayor or something. And now, because it's on Patreon, I'm wondering if we should put it, if we should listen to it. We're protected by 1A, as we all know. Okay, 1A. I, basically, I don't know how to tell her that it would be over for us if anyone were to try something. Oh, no, no. This is about I- me telling my girlfriend that if somebody were to break in, we would she would be raped and killed. Or she, I would be killed in front of her, and then she would be raped, and that I would have nothing to do. There's and, no point in waking you up to go. Yeah, do when she's like, somebody's there. I'm like, something. what do you think I would do? So this is like a big joke about that, and that like event, like the the guy would eventually just like start like embarrassing me in front of her. I think she. Yeah. You it's know, hard. It's it's tough to deal with the fact that you're not a real man. That's a tough thing to. I don't know what to tell it, her. Yeah. I'm like, what do you think? I'm gonna fucking go learn something? It's like I, I get a gun, and even if I get a gun, it's like if somebody, if something were to really happen suddenly, you don't have time to like run in and get grab the gun box and undo the code and then load it. Like you'd be dead by then anyway. You know what I mean? Even though I'm pro gun, so yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to tell her. I, 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 when she asked me that question, I really want to just look at her and be like, listen, I will be killed in front of you. You'll be raped and then killed. And I don't know what else to say. I have no plan here. 
That's where well, you'll live. You know, it happened. It almost happened to Kim Kardashian. You know, it could happen to you. Maybe we'll live. Maybe they'll let us live. Those <laughs> fucking hooligans. Let's hope they just come in, box your ears in, yeah. slap you around. Yeah. Rape, rape everybody. What if they, knowing me, they, they'll they come in, they won't steal anything, they'll just give me a wedgie and like low bridge me <laughs> and then just be like, and they'll just like, they'll like, they'll like fuck me in the ass in front of my girlfriend, like deliverance. <laughs> they'll just be like, squeal! Squeal like a piggy! And I'll be like, ee! Ee! Like looking, <laughs> like my don't. eyes are locked in with my, with, with, with my girlfriend's eyes. I'm staring right into her soul as I squeal <laughs> as I get fucked in the ass by home invaders. And then they'll, they'll leave. Nothing happens to her. Nothing happens to her. They compliment her looks and they go like, you should really find a new boyfriend. <laughs> and then they and then they leave. That's probably how it's going to go. Knowing my luck. I won't even get killed knowing my luck. Like, please kill me. Yeah, yeah I'd be like, I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll be the after they rape me. I'll be like, OK, I'm ready. Do it. And they'll be like, we're not killing you, fag. <laughs> and then they we're leave. We're going to rape you, you freak. And then they leave. And then the rest of my life is even worse. Because I'm now my girlfriend, like she packs her bags the next day. She's like, I couldn't. That was just too hard to witness. You're not a provider. They raped you. Yeah, you have to leave. You, you did too. nothing. You looked right into my eyes as they raped you. I mean, I have to leave. And then the rest of my life, I'd have that on my conscience. I'd be like, yeah, I mean, I wish I was killed. Yeah, I think this you, is the laziest thing. I think it would. <laughs> this is the laziest part. I like how we're acting like, oh, we're doing a big special 100th episode. <laughs> So we've put all this work this in. This is it. for the fa Joey. Do you not understand the concept? Like we put it out there, and they sent us these things to wa to watch. Yeah, but we asked them to send us stuff. It was our idea, and they were like, "Okay, we'll play along." What we'll else are you supposed to do for some bullshit like this? This is fine. You didn't like Devin's rant. I love the rant, but it, I don't love us listening to the rant and just going like, yeah, that was a funny little goof. So you want to change the <laughs> We've world. already shown ourselves throughout this. We've, we've, yeah. we've done this like three times, and it's been fine. This is just one where... We're, it's funny when we're like making fun of ourselves. And, and All right, why don't we get into it? You yeah. remember when you had a terrible COVID opinion? False argument, oh, episode I would, I 14. For you Fuck and yeah. Richie, you were proven wrong. Well, Time before, has passed, and I was correct. I feel like my opinion it's got over muddled now. a little bit. But before you, know. you play. Can't before wait you, for this shit. Because mine got tied in with Joey's, and at a certain point, I veer from Joey. And then, and jo and then even Richie was against Joey. Yeah. And then Joey still brings this up to this day. He's like, I was be talking about I business to rights. People. Or like private I, companies I, having rights, yeah, and they can do whatever they want. If I could save a life, you I would save a life. Because you you actually were a libtard cuck in this yeah. clip. Yeah. We were a libtard libtard. Cuck. You broke the blue wall. No, so not true at all. And uh, what you're about to hear, and Devin's such a fucking brain dead moron. The reason, <laughs> the reason this episode is called uh, false argument is because I introduced a hypothetical situation just to kind of. Oh, you're playing devil's advocate, but it I'm, had nothing to do. Yeah, with I'm what playing we're talking devil's about. advocate. No, and I'm trying to explore just how crazy Devin is because he kind of became like one of these alt right Trump dudes that was. I'm just not like, crazy. Fuck. I was completely correct, and I've been deemed correct now. I was completely right, and you guys were wrong. It's out now. Mm -hmm. It's over. I was right. You were wrong. No, but you keep pretending like I was on the I side of I spoke truth Fauci. to power. You guys went with the sheep. Bah! Bah! That's my friends here. Mm -hmm. No, you sheep. were like an 8chan retard. And no, I, I wasn't. I was correct. We, we were going to agree with you. I literally was correct. We were going to agree with you on January 6th, but you were nowhere to be I found. I ended up being correct. Where are we now? Jamie Foxx is in the hospital because of the COVID booster. Oh, fuck Jamie off. Jamie Foxx is, like, dying right now. Really? They're killing That's Fox? I saw an MSN.com article saying it's after the COVID vaccine, he has a brain clot, and Jesus he's, he's paralyzed fuck, right they now. They killed Jamie Foxx. So... So so here's what what happens in this episode, and Devin keeps trying to do like a, a retarded straw man thing where he's pinning all of Fauci's opinions on me. All I say, and the reason this episode's titled False Argument is because I introduced this scenario. It's a funny joke. I made a funny thing. It was funny. No, it was funny. Mm -hmm. Hey, but you're retarded. Like logically, it makes no sense. Devin, don't give in. No, I'm. But, giving, I'm, I'm just. I'm. I'm satisfying him. Okay. Oh, I can tell oh, he's, he's upset oh, about he's, being his wrong. His ODD's flaring. He's yeah, upset yeah. about being wrong, and he's gonna get more comments when we listen to this more than he got on when we originally did it. Because there were less listeners. Right. Yeah. But so, so, so he's doubling down on his on his bad opinion mm -hmm. on this. Right. So no. So I'm I'm correcting Devin's uh you know 
imagination about how this actually went down by introducing reality to people and telling them an accurate account of what actually happens here because Devin's going to keep trying to spin it. Why don't we 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 fucking play the thing? We got it right here. Well, no, so Devin's allowed to to weave like a narrative about how this goes and I'm going to do that too really fast. So (laughs) I I introduce this. I I go, okay, listen, I think the vaccine's stupid as fuck. I I agree with you. Like it's uh, similar to just being a regular cold. But if I was also not saying that I'm saying it shouldn't be it shouldn't be mandated and it shouldn't be a thing where businesses care whether you're unvaccinated or not, because we had there was no difference in spreading covid. It made no sense. This is fucking America. And and I totally agree. Well, in America, private businesses should have the right to make decisions on their own, like not hiring black people or something. No, it's right. You know like you mean? can't. Is that a, a private deci- yeah, uh, decision? That's a private they, decision. They make, uh, that's that's private businesses. From like, here. yeah, you could do whatever you want. That's yeah. like a stupid thing. Well, no, say. like uh, discriminated against groups do have rights. Discriminate against unvaccinated people. Yeah, discriminating and and pretending that they're gonna kill people. Yeah. When we went on to find it out to like that big... it has no effect if you're unvaccinated or not, that's that person's personal decision. They're allowed to go have a fucking drink and you turned it into a thing where it's like, we need to be a fr- like we can kill that guy. So we should leave the bar because he's unvaccinated. If he's in there, like that, like that matters. People d- decide to do things all the time. Well, there are protected, there are protected classes, like for yeah. sure. People who are minorities that are getting discriminated against, they should have protection and they do. So mm-hmm. there are like, there are new laws that have been introduced that say like you, you're allowed to kick people out of your business if they are, you know, they don't have a shirt on, but you can't do it if they're black, right? So the, the, there's a reasonable standard for who you're allowed to kick out of your business based on, hey, you own a private business. If this is going to hurt your business, then don't do it. So in America at this point in time, especially in Los Angeles, there was a huge population that was saying, we don't want to go to places that aren't taking these certain precautions to, to avoid this uh, disease, which is maybe dangerous, maybe not. In my opinion, I thought it was, I always stood by similar to like a common cold, but I said they definitely should still have the right to open a business, own a building, a private business, and make rules like this. No matter how retarded these rules are. That's what I it think, turned into and after you knew you lost the original point. No, can, it was always this. Right now. That's well, what why don't we into. play the that argument? Was not, I wasn't arguing private uh, businesses being able to have their own laws or whatever. I, I was saying this thing where all of a sudden in the country at this time, uh, they were pretending like, well, we're vaccinated. We get to go into the bar, but no unvaccinated people because unvaccinated people kill you. But it doesn't make sense because if we're vaccinated, we're protected. It made no fucking sense. Why would why would the business care if you're unvaccinated and you want to come in? It makes no sense. And we went on. It to doesn't find have out to make it was sense. all bullshit. Right. So my point was, it doesn't have to make sense. They should be allowed right. to not make sense. Like, like as long uh, as it's not discriminatory yeah, against like colored water fra- fountains. No, as long as it's not discriminatory. It, it was. Be a, it was discriminatory against like half the population. I think That's the, not I think a disenfranchised the, the, the group of here now is, It is. is a lot of people that maybe didn't uh, want to have blood clots and didn't want to get a vaccine that, that was forced they on them. They have the freedom to not go to private businesses just the way that private businesses have the freedom Since to not allow them in. Do you, if, you know, if you... Why do you need the right to go to a... If you're, right not, if you're drunk a, and you're not allowed in a bar, you throw a fit. You, you guys could do a whole episode on yeah, this. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. I we think are. the argument... I think the argument... I think the argument is, let's, is let's like what happens when there's like a new protected class being born, essentially. Well, I haven't listened you know? to this in whenever we... Since we did it. I've so I don't remember, but I remember feeling like Joey pivoted the argument to like a private business thing and even Richie then turned and was like, well, I... Yeah. You were actually kind of... You were a libtard too, but I, like... I, uh, <laughs> no, I, don't say two. I was saying the virus is well, dumb the whole time. There's nothing wrong with being liberal or conservative. You know, I don't know why I think you're, you're both. Right. I think all people. Conser- that's very weird. I, think I, love, both I love both. I love both. It seems both. like you're not in the yeah, middle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Devin's not both. in the middle, and I that's love, fine, and I'm, I'm okay no, with that. I love both. But, I'm, just, I'm just like a fan of politics and, like, people's opinions. Yeah, and yeah. I just oh, love them. I love them all. Yeah. Right. I'm like a guy that, like, loves the NBA. I love every team. I watch it all the time. <laughs> I'm pro, to this. I'm pro freedom. I don't want the government you telling me what to do politics. in any circumstance. I wear politics. I got I got I got Republican, yeah, Democrat. Got yeah. Yeah. I got like a big like back to back championship jersey. Like Republicans, Democrats. I love the government and politics, baby. Hey, if it's a crime to not want the government to tell me what to do, take me to jail. Go ahead. <laughs> well, you were you were in favor of that in this argument. No, I was saying the government shouldn't be allowed to tell private businesses what they're allowed to do for their policies about letting. You had some whole thing about and they killing did. people. Or Saving right, lives. No, so, so this was a policy enacted Superman. by a government. Yeah, real. Superman. No, the government didn't. That was never enforced by the government. 
private businesses federally. There was a period of time where every single place like had to abide by like you have to be vaxxed. It was never here. federally enforced. I didn't go to a single place where I didn't have to show my vax card throughout that period. It was yeah. never federally enforced. I could have gone into fucking Bubba the Love Sponges fucking rib fuck shack fucking we fuck <laughs> hookers all night and do coke on a pool table. They you made, live in Los they Angeles. Made you, you live in show, a cock city. They made you show your vax card. I was in the deep south. They made you show your fucking yep. vax. Remember in South in Dakota? New Orleans, we had to show our vax yes, card. We, we had to show our vax card everywhere in New much, Orleans. That's, well, in South Dakota, there was never any requirement well, South Dakota for you, you live in like a lawless land. You might as well live yeah. in like international waters. Like, yeah, like, like, you, like, you were raised you live in like a like bullet a, farm like in Mad Max. Completely like, different place. And, and so I'm defending places without those requirements. And now it's kind of like a foggy, murky argument. All right, let's listen to this then. Relax. Facts. <laughs> I'm just saying you're trying to spin this into a thing that well, I we wasn't arguing. We can we'll listen see. to it. Because it was the first place I've been. So this is in San Francisco. I went to a place in San Francisco with Brian. All my brothers yeah. who support freedom, they sound it off in the comments. They wouldn't <laughs> let you... <laughs> they wouldn't let me walk to the bathroom... Or they wouldn't let my friend walk to the bathroom because he, my, Brian didn't, ha he was vaxxed, but he didn't have it on his phone. Yeah. And we walked up to just go into this place and they, I had it, but they wouldn't let him in. They, they wouldn't let Brian go use the bathroom, like walk down these stairs. Shame on you bathroom. for giving them your business. You should not have done friend, that. Friend, we went to a, like an old Every bar. Play. It was the only way to get, do anything. Take a shit. Yeah. You yeah. Take had a shit. to you do it. If you're in your private bathroom at home, stop supporting a goddamn we private went business into with the city. crazy well, policies. Francisco's covered in shit, so, you know. Yeah, these places have crazy policies and you're supporting them. Mm. You gotta they have, have these a backbone in like, America. Have yeah. a backbone. Have a fucking backbone. Don't support businesses with crazy policies. Joey's ODD is kicking in. This, this is, is great. wonderful to watch. That's like Irish coffees. It's called the Buena Let's Vista. Watch, like, ha, this is like the ODD watching the ODD. This is like the Terminator like, watching the Terminator. <laughs> the T-1000 to T-2000. I mean, who's this fucking drunk yeah, idiot? Like, oh, what a, oh, shut up! False <laughs> to yourself. What the fuck is a hypothetical situation, you fucking idiot? <laughs> and they have this outdoor seating, but the inside's great. And we go up to the front, and this little fucking twerp comes up to us. And he goes, proof of vaccination. Oh, jeez. Oh, and I was like, whoa, this is happening? Like, you had steam this coming is out already, of I was getting real stop the steely. <laughs> <laughs> I was just revving up. I, 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 I took my shirt off like Superman. I had a stop the steel shirt on. I, it, it made me a little upset. Uh, but I did have my proof. My friend didn't. Because it's like, what the fuck? It is. We're now being asked to show our papers. This is Nazi Germany, folks. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Hell yeah, Devin. I was waiting What's for that. What's the difference between that and Nazi Germany? Tell me. <laughs> the full I Rush like, I went to a bar. They pulled out my fillings. It was insane. <laughs> I, it's crazy. The, that bar, they, I, had my, I had my grandfather in a wheelchair there. They took him to the top floor. They threw him right out of his wheelchair. <laughs> Nazi Germany, I tell you. No, I, it was just kind of creepy, you know. And then I asked if I can go to the bathroom, and the guy like made a point to say like multiple times, like mask on, over mouth, and nose. Uh, and I was like, "This is fucking look." look. I know you hate the uh, what we're doing here. Not not this clip, but just like the watching. This is interesting. This one is because this is co I for it's crazy to even remember a yeah. time like this. This is interesting. I didn't like us just being like, "Hey, remember Tug it guy." I like that. Well, dude. it's a bit where you know it's a celebration, folks. Didn't the fans send? They sent me that clip. Clips? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, let's so, go on one commenter. Let's base the show <laughs> on that. ODD kicks in again. I, I was thinking the same thing. No matter tomorrow. who says anything to him or what it is, you're wrong. All right, little, little gross. <laughs> it's just annoying. I don't that, like that. Yeah, it's annoying. With a mask? No, I don't like the <laughs> attitude. Mandate the attitude. Thing. I don't like the attitude. Also, who the fuck are they protecting? If you're unvaccinated and you're going out to bars, what the fuck does a bar care if you get sick? Right. Why do they care? Like, literally, why would, if my friend wasn't vaccinated, why do they care if he comes inside and gets COVID? Are they saying he can spread it more? Well, now you're generating. Well, they don't the want him to die. Yeah, now you're Who generating. Who gives a shit about him? Now you're generating the They argument. serve alcohol. They don't, they, they care about people's health. I mean, they might not want somebody to die a horrible death. Yeah, now you're generating the argument they'll for never, the vaccination. They'll never yeah, know. Yeah, right? This whole idea about like <laughs> knowing where people get it, nobody knows where they get it. Who cares? It's a free-for-all. <laughs> well, I don't know, Devin. I don't, I don't, you lost me there. No, I you didn't lost, lose anybody. You lost, you lost, you lost, you lost me. How am I wrong? How am I wrong? 
So far, I don't disagree. With it was anything. completely. I, well, no, I make a point at I think. that time saying that being honest deemed you completely fucking insane. Well, so yeah. what? I, what I say is like I'm being completely honest. That's a fucking fact. All all anything in this country is is a is is a, if enough Mondays go by, we just forget what we fucking fake cared about. Yeah, As everyone tries to start info, acting like they were never a part of this yeah. cult. Joe and I were the ones going COVID. up against the yep. grain. Everything. Yep. We Thank got you, John. The backlash. Yep. I'm loving you tonight. Love you, buddy. <laughs> Well, so, so <laughs> Devin, you're real bipolar with me tonight. It's pretty, pretty. I'm unhinged. kidding. I'm just like kidding. <laughs> well, so the point that I actually make is uh, not that. Oh, this is a deadly virus. What I introduce is, if it is possibly, let's just pretend it is a deadly virus. I knew that at the time. No, I wasn't if, unaware if it's of it. as deadly as some people, as these hysterical people think. If it is, why take the risk? But go ahead. Because they were virtue signaling. These are liberal virtue signals, and they like control. They like the government. They like mandates. They like forcing things on people now. They've completely flipped. Liberals now are like early 2000s fucking Republicans. They're, I'm the same, they're into war. They're into government. It's it's nonstop. They, they just want... It's a know. practice run for fascism. That's what the fucking yes. COVID is. I'm heavily against all government sanctions in this in this whole podcast. Listen to it at home, by the way, if you don't get this. But listen to the whole thing. The whole My biggest point throughout the whole thing is uh, a, being against government control. So whether that means the government's allowed to, uh, you know, not let people test if they want to... At a bar or see a card i i said okay listen that's crazy but let them do it if they want to ruin their business but go ahead yeah. i lose you <laughs> listen to what i am saying if you're vaccinated tim tim got it he's vaccinated but he didn't get he, super sick uh, he's not in the hospital and they say the vaccination is keeping you from having it you know the old covid where it really right, fucking almost kills right. you was that about tim so robbins we all got vaccinated yeah. right tim robbins so tim robbins. this is an indoor bar <laughs> And they're asking for proof of vaccination. So everyone in there is vaccinated. So what do they care if an unvaccinated person is in there? They don't want them to die a horrible death. What are you talking about? What? That's exactly why they care. Because they got vaccinated. Yeah, they don't want... Just because somebody's, uh, you know irresponsible and they didn't get the vax that doesn't mean they but want them to die can spread it the same way if you're vaccinated you could spread yeah it's pointless you guys are, you guys were wrong here keep playing you're I... just simply wrong it just as easily as an unvaccinated no uh, not not wrong because my the, the subtext here is vaccinated people it is I, think, dead... I think it came out vaccinated people are dying more than unvaccinated yep. it came out but at their the time, immune at, systems worse right, but at the time with the info that we had is saying like hey if this is deadly then they don't want at that. this time we had the info that it spreads no, just as easily if you're vaccinated it spreads if you're unvaccinated it spreads being vaccinated doesn't stop it from spreading we had that info at the time and that's why i was like well then what do we care no, if, a, if a guy if a guy's unvaccinated vaccinated and at this time we did this episode if somebody was unvaccinated they made the decision to not be vaccinated right. they don't want it but they should they want to go out because they're living their life which a ton of it's everyone's doing now so there's no fucking difference you're wrong no the implication here was that if it is a very deadly virus which i don't know that's what i'm saying i don't know if it is but if it is perhaps we should prevent people from you know killing themselves by irresponsibly hitting no it i okay there was an Ult info war going on at the time ultimately yeah, exactly. it had nothing to do with that it was about looking at unvaccinated people they want them to die all vaccinated people at that time that were on to this type of shit making you show your papers really proud of turning people away that weren't vaccinated they they laugh at you dying they loved it they took glee in it it was sick mm -hmm. and we've moved right on from it but that's the same fucking mentality that that these people running this place have yeah. it made it had no logic put into it it was just a, a us versus them thing and you guys are right-wing assholes if you don't want to shove something that was made in nine months into your fucking arm twice in a month the actual logic that was going into it uh put forth by these businesses i agree with you it wasn't some altruistic i'm going to protect people from dying what it actually was is i want to make the decision that is best for my business so is there a liability no. issue? it was a political thing it was that we're better than you no you're, you're a now, right now you're, you're being, if you're unvaccinated at our door you're a right-wing lunatic you're a fucking yeah. hick piece it of shit retard that. and you don't deserve to come into our bar because you're gonna kill we're gonna make up we're gonna we're gonna redefine the facts we have we're gonna make up that you're gonna make us sick 
Yeah. Even though we have the shield. Yeah. It made that, 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 absolutely no sense. You're going to kill my grandma. It was a political fucking, like, it, it was just a show of, like, virtue and bullshit. Yeah. And it was a, it was liberal nonsense. 100%. It was, I'm better than you. You're lower than me. Yep. You can't come in. That's not true at all. So that 100% is, that is 100%. That is 100% true. There, there was a lot of virtue signaling happening, but the the reason virtue signaling is bad is because it's people practicing what they didn't actually preach. In this scenario with these private businesses, if you know anyone with a private business and all these guys are like, holy, they're already probably not making that much money on these businesses. They're choosing. So you, they have. They're not making money, but they they can afford to lose business off of a political stance. From their point of view, they're they like they can afford to turn people away from their bar, but they're doing badly, and it's a rough it's a rough it's hard. Well, to politicians have a from their give a point of, about private no, business. From their point of view, they're basically saying right now in Los Angeles, where everybody's San Francisco, alt- yeah, or San Francisco, even better for my point. These ultra liberal places, they it, our customer base wants precautions. So we're gonna lose. They would business. never know if if, if they're they ask for your vax card, they show it, and if they're not vax, they let them in. Who's at the bar standing around going, "Who was asked? Who was vaxed next to me?" While I get hammered on poison. This is nonsense, Joey. I, it's, You're just defending something for no, 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 no reason. That's at not this true point. at all. So the people who are saying that are yuppies from San Francisco. These super liberal, sensitive guys, where they get together to plan their weekend with each other, and they go like, "Well, what's the bar? Is there any bars that are being safe about this?" And they go, "Okay, that bar is." And so that's where they all go. If they if, were still allowed to do this to this day, they do the same fucking thing. They, they would. They would. They would literally they be putting. They would be putting va- unvaccinated day. people in fucking yes, they, 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 ended, they ended the fucking like. Like, there it's was not never a national a federal, emergency yeah. anymore. They ended, they repealed all the things. And they also so it's ended like, it, it would when be, all the... They would just be, like, literally killing their business if they did yeah. it now. At this time, they were riding the wave of momentum. Exactly. And, at that time, it was the most it was the not, profitable but decision. you're acting like it's for the reason you're saying it's not. It was to feel better than people. You, I don't think you like, know enough like business I'm owners. Better than you. you don't know enough business owners. When it comes down to making money... Everyone's politics go out the fucking window. They go like, okay, we're deciding our politics based on what's going to make our lives the most comfortable. And that's why if you go out into like Brentwood, in the heart of the most liberal fucking city in America, everyone's a Republican. Because they're all rich people, and they're all protecting their own interests. Yeah, no rich people live in San Francisco. They're making the same decisions. That's what I'm saying. They're doing the exact same thing. They're like, we own a business. We know it has nothing to do we with know. the actual reason that you started with. Right. Yeah. But they're just pl- they're But that's my point. No, they're making decisions based on this is the most profitable decision not profitable. right now. <laughs> no, vaccine, that vaccine mandates fucking down killed money. small businesses in America. Yes. Vaccine mandates almost eliminated yeah, they, the middle oh, they, class they, they in this fucking country. Businesses. They're not making a business decision. Oh, they're making destroyed. a political decision to look good and look like they're uh, virtuous. And they actually don't care that they're hurting themselves because they'd rather look good in the eyes of the people at at this time when you were looked at like by, by the majority as like I'm better than you. No, so the way this unfolded, it, it, John, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to make a point. So the way this unfolded is that this national or worldwide crisis uh, came out and uh, because of that, everyone is now, it's a fear-mongering tactic. You know, not, not tactic, but it was a definite fear-mongering happening with the media. So because of that, all of the businesses that have, like, street traffic instantly got fucked. And there was a government mandate to shut them all down. So that's what killed small businesses. When they opened back up, now these businesses... They made it even harder on them. No, no, not... not that, yeah, that, yeah, that, put the knee on the neck a little more. Oh, that's an odd... Th- you're, like, somehow bringing a race to- That used well, to be a saying before fucking George Floyd, okay? <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, my bad, my Should we bad. stop? My bad. Actually, uh, I didn't yeah, know. No, I know you love porn stars that uh, tried to kill pregnant women. What? I'm whoa. kidding. I'm oh, 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 whoa, Debbie, whoa. I'm kidding. I actually like George Floyd. Okay, but not so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I really like George Floyd. <laughs> you jack off to his porn. I did look at it once. You jack off to it a lot. It was rough to watch because I knew he was dead. It's hard to watch dead people. Yeah. At this moment, soundboards are cheap, but it'd be great to have, like, he died crying like, yeah, a, little like a little bitch. bitch. Like, yeah. I was just... I was yeah, just, watching George just, Floyd's porn is like watching that a... for the sake of saying it, but, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, so, again, like, I'm being very... Con- Floyd. I'm the only one being consistent with my arguments here, but so when the government made these mandates to shut down businesses, that's what killed businesses. Let me finish. Okay. And then when they reopened them and they had these recommended sanctions, now in these liberal cities, these private businesses had to make a decision about... 
the best way to open back up. They didn't have to make a decision. They loved that they had to make this decision. They loved it. They, they hated loved it. it. They were all miserable. No, not these places, not in San Francisco, not in L.A. They loved it. They felt like they were like like getting mm. a personality out of it. Maybe look, there was a couple of guys that were so rich, they were like, hey, let's they did flex this with our glee. politics. No. Let's, if we're so if rich they that we don't care about our business, let's flex our politics. If they didn't repeal this shit, these people would still be wearing masks. They'd be fucking loving it. They, they cared about these, moral equity more than actual fucking money. Hey, yep. It was insane. Can I throw a curveball your way? Yeah, you sure. think that... Uh, <laughs> Hang on, no, no, no. no that was good something did it. Wow. John, and let's Well, look, because I'm Oh, that was confident. I'm on fucking trial here. Go for it. I'm not putting you on trial. I'm putting my opinion. I wasn't here for this fucking argument. Right, but so I think that you couldn't find me one example of somebody who had a private business where they were they, they were struggling with money, and they decided to make a decision that would hurt them more. Yeah, dude, what are you kidding? Yes, kidding half me, these dude? bars are owned by trust fund kids. Well, I'm just going like, to have to take the care. PPP owner. Half these businesses are open from 3 to 5 p.m. They don't, they, they, it's like fake. They're owned by like rich kids that like don't know what to do with their life. So they like, oh, I'm opening up a fucking uh, Jewish deli that serves one sandwich and a pickle. And we're open for two hours a day. What are you talking about? None of these places are owned by like these like struggling, like some like ch- Korean family that's like, we that's need not, to that's make not rent. Tr- like you so, think those so, Korean places were, were, we're turning away unvaccinated people. No, they go come in. Right, exactly. So that's <laughs> what, what, what they did. That's they what I'm saying. Come in. What do they say after that, buddy? The, the small they go, Hajima! <laughs> Hajima! So that's your bottle, white bitch. Devin keeps <laughs> agreeing with me, but he does it in a cadence where he's like arguing. So that's exactly what I just said. It's the guys that were trust fund kids. They were the ones who were virtue signaling and being like, "I'm so proud." Yeah, but it was wrong. And stupid. Yeah. And that's my Of course. Point. You didn't say that. Yes, I did. That's my whole fucking we get, point. We get pretty heated here. Let's Person, listen. that's what they've said. It's like, it doesn't stop you from spreading it. Right. So they don't want you to come in if you're not vaccinated. This is because like bizarre. We're like, like, yeah, like, 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 yeah, like, like, the same exact thing we did just in. Yeah. I keep looking around <laughs> going like, <laughs> yeah, it's an argument within an argument within an argument. How is Devin talking to you? This is like Inception. Yeah. From the people that have it. And you'll die a horrible death. That are vaccinated? Yes. But people were allowed to do things before there was a vaccine. Like, people were going and doing things, and they weren't asking for proof of anything. They you were just, just like, repl- all right, take... You just replaced Richie's uh, worst <laughs> argument of all time right now. But back to back. <laughs> but I can't even believe it. But I just thought the two, the two worst arguments I've ever heard in my life just happened back to back. Are they afraid to get sued? There's been a million people that have died, and they, who knows the last place they were? Who fucking cares at this point? Like, I don't understand. What is this, like, fake, You just like, said a guy infantile, got it. Like, Tim Dillon got it. Right. Even though he was and vaccinated. And he's vaccinated. So, what, so if, if they asked him, for, he got right. it. Right, because he's in Texas and going on tour. He's not a regular person. He's not just somebody in, a, in San Francisco going to bars. That's a they, qualifier, Richie. You're wrong there. You want to make sure you're vaccinated <laughs> if you're going to go in. Why? Rich, what's been going reason? on with you lately? That sounds yeah, like you know, troubling. Game. Make- troubling. Well, troubling to hear. Uh, well, what happened? Remy, I don't know. He said something this. that I thought was stupid for a second. I made it. Yes. Devin, stop I'm looking I'm trying bad. to save Devin. What's been going on with me? I got EBT. That's been big. So glad. Oh, yeah. So glad I'm here. Is that it? Loving EBT. How much? A, a lot. <laughs> Skip ahead a little bit. That can't be it. Maybe keep that it sued and probably maybe maybe compassionate. Did maybe not even sue. They already Just signed something. Maybe, that compa- said, maybe compassionate. Maybe scared to get sued. Either way, great reasons. At the beginning yeah. of all this, they signed something. That's- See, so even right there, I was just saying like. Their motivations are possibly being afraid of getting sued. At no point ever in this whole and podcast do I ever go like, I think that the deadly virus is dangerous. I'm just saying, time, like, I'm trying to describe how private they're businesses. They're not afraid of getting sued. That's wrong. So let me just end. Well, you, no, that's what I'm saying. If, if, I'm saying if that's why. That's not why. No, you, you were, don't know. I, I, How do you? What are you in there? Well, mind that time, you know, if they were going to very early, early on business. into COVID, when they opened businesses back up, they signed a thing that said exactly. you can't sue places exactly. for the getting legal sick there. So that makes no. Swamped. That has no yes. value. No, that's not true at all. It's, it is true. They said you can't sue yes. businesses and say you got sick there. Well, I, never, after, I, I, I never claimed that they did. I just said if people are afraid of that irrationally, then that's a fine reason. 
if, well, they, if you go to small, it's not, and that's wrong, and you're wrong right now. So then that's you, not a fine reason. So they're making so, no sense. Why are you defending dumb people that own businesses? I'm saying people should uh, are dumb. They're irrational, and that's they make dumb, <laughs> irrational decisions. It's like Jimmy McGill. It's like and, fucking Saul Goodman right here. It's like <laughs> what is what do you what about what you think? We can't. This is what you you can't. <laughs> what, are, what are you arguing exactly? Yeah, what, exactly? Are you, what are you what arguing ODD for? ODD on full display. What are you arguing? You, you can't you're wrong. Bad you can't operate it. under the assumption that all human beings are going to constantly behave in a rational way. But the majority of these types of people did this for, as a show, as a show of virtue, and it was bullshit and fake. That's the point. You're not. You're acting like they're just. They have like their own personal issue with it, and they hey, they're making their own personal decision. No, they're going with a wave. They're going with the dominant wave at the time, which was this type of thinking. Mm. And I was looked at like a psychopath for having any fucking thought about it. No, like all private businesses, they're going with the wave that they think is the best for their business. Well, there was a ton that weren't doing can't this that were fine. Places for getting it from them. So then and jobs. So, so, even that too. so they're like so the greatest. Like, so that is like the greatest argument. bar of all time. What is this? compassion thing you why do you hate compassion so who much? cares because, it's a personal choice because if everyone's vaccinated then the chances are so much lower instead of having to deal with that like i, I got right vaccinated but, like, i'm slightly <laughs> less sick but i'm still yeah, got it like there. why it's even like, deal like, with that if i got i actually kind of like that i got vaccinated i went through the whole no i'm just making process, terrible and i don't want to deal with uh, not even in retrospect like in the bullshit moment politics at that time they were also bad no but in retrospect you were you were consumed by the the fear the fear got to you it, it did. It did. Oh, it didn't get to me, but I. I the reason I'm ashamed is because. <laughs> oh, you're ashamed, you fucking asshole. What I'm, making, what I'm doing is I'm playing such a devil's advocate. Where That's I'm what you just do, like, bro. I'm like, here's how logically you're wrong. Yeah, but to the point where you like, we like, you get angry at me. I'm getting angry now. It's the price wide good party. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I, know, I would show I got vaccinated so I'll show my proof yeah but if you I'm pro vaccination would you be afraid to be around an unvaccinated oh, person like, Richie sucks oh, Richie. ass there. Well, God, I, well, Richie. I was trying to bait you at that point uh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah I know I know yeah. that's still funny to have on I, you that's like you saying the n-word no, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> that's not, I'm pro vaccination uh, you have his n-word tape yeah that's my n-word tape <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna release that on twitter in like seven I, years cancel you I guess I have to stand by it and I'll, I'll pull some like sick person I know out of the air, like out of thin air to be like, oh, you can't say that now because I was taking care of someone and you're, yeah. you're a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And by yeah. thin hair, I mean my girlfriend. And, and you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? She, uh, I don't know. I think she, uh, she's healthy now. She's a strong person, and I think you. Yeah, yeah. I don't think she just press the fucking space. I don't think button. she needed that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think she needed the Jamie Fox par paralysis shot. Care about them? I wouldn't be if they made the choice to be unvaccinated. Who cares? I would. Yeah, I yeah. Would. Actually, yeah. You still care for them. You still yeah, think because if they're all their out, choice doesn't. Devin, you know, I'm gonna be not, honest with you real so, quick though, Devin. Okay, you're the most like, neurotic, had, like, like, sickness avoiding guy on earth. I'm extremely like surprised you had such a strong opinion. Because I was, time. oh, dude, this he got is political a, about this it. This is yeah. a year and a half in. I thought oh, about you're it done. logically. Oh, I didn't know. I'm yeah, like, okay. are you yeah, kidding? Yeah, yeah, this you're is done. absurd. This is what yeah. I wanted to ask you. Do you think looking back? bartenders and bouncers and those people who got to enforce it were having a lot of fun with it. And the mm, owners dude, maybe, a, yes. lot, a lot of them were like, oh, I have to do this. It was this an abuse of power. To, and they, But that's where the feeling's coming from. So no, you're like going to the it. owners. They all had Devin those. Devin has worse ODD than me. Why would the owners, love, the owners They all it? had those chalk signs out on the front. They, yeah. Everyone was really proud of themselves. Well, to be like, wear a mask on the Monday. The <laughs> you can't, if you think you're going to come in here and get an Allagash White for $13, <laughs> Without being vaccinated, you got something else coming to you, brother. I mean, that's this time. That's this time. <laughs> they should be fucking killed. No, they're playing because they're responsible for a lot of fucking lost lives and businesses. They're playing to the majority. That thinking, they're yes, playing to the majority. Seven, yes. no, they're playing to the, co the consumer. We should open with it. They this. probably hated it, honestly. They probably were like, God, I can't. The I have consumer. To write the, the, the blue shirt consumer. Yeah, in San Francisco. Not half the and other tourist country. places Not like the New other Orleans. 83 million that voted for another retard. <laughs> right, but I'm saying in Alabama. That's not the country. No, that's like. Coastal thinking. <laughs> no, I'm asking. In, in Alabama, they're not catering at that time, to the consumer. If they were catering to the consumer, during you cater, rush, you cater to 100 percent of the population. Well, yeah. Well, it wasn't federal, as Joey said. 
So it was like the customer, right. the customers in San so Francisco. Between you guys, don't bring me so in. So these business owners <laughs> are politically <laughs> radicalized retards. Yes. Right, but the owners just are trying to make money. I mean, that's no, all they're, they're not. Doing. They're trying to make a point. In San Francisco, if they wanted to make money. They no, let everyone this in. This is what I'm asking you. The the bouncers got to have fun with it, and they got to enforce. Like they got to be like the bouncers see. were told though by the by, by a guy. Yeah, but you don't know service industry workers like I do. And they like the opportunity to tell you no. I know, and they and wouldn't have, have that opportunity if their boss that owns the place goes, yeah, everyone can have wings because, tonight. Because I don't care what their are Because, on because then if they don't enforce it at that time in San Francisco, nobody comes. We're acting like, by the way, this is not six months in. This is not a month after the vaccine. Yeah. I know there was like a sure. few months after the vaccine came out where we still didn't know the, like, like we thought I'm good now. Right. I mean, there was a whole period of time where the news said that you're, you will never get it. Yeah, and then we and then they just you know hit all that once everyone started still getting it. Mm -hmm. right. Delta I, I variant. Like, this is a year and a half in. We were done with this shit. It was like you either get the vaccine or you don't, and it doesn't matter either fucking way. It's a personal decision. If you want to, if you think it'll give you an easier time with COVID, you get the vaccine. Right. If I, you don't want to put something in you that you don't know about, you don't, and that's it. I wish and I it's disagreed. Everyone's decision. I wish I disagreed. I, I agree. It's everyone's decision. The private businesses have a decision too, and they're allowed to make it. But the thing is, you don't, don't want it. I don't care. You don't want it. You don't want it. You, so you don't care if they die. All these businesses didn't have the decision. Not really. Mandates. No, they didn't have the decision I, I to force it or not. They were forced I'm by saying. the fucking city. They to had do it. no decision. All they their employees were forced to it get it. It wasn't that they ruined businesses. It wasn't. They would be fired. I had fucking chairs thrown at me because I was enforcing vaccines. I got no money for like six fucking months. There wasn't. There was never a federal mandate. It is a miracle. The place I work at is still around today. It is a fucking miracle. It's a miracle that. It's around without the virus. It's the worst <laughs> bar in the fucking city. Uh, but no, so the, the federal mandate was that when they closed businesses down, your bar, if they would have had balls, they could have kept it fucking open with no restrictions. What are you talking about? But they about? didn't. There was no federal restrictions. If your bar had any balls, they would say, fuck it, we don't care. You guys can come with no masks. But they didn't do it because they're fucking There were cuts. L.A. County people coming in, checking that we were enforcing vaccine yeah, mandates. Fight them in the fucking uh, courtroom, you pussies. All right, all right, all right, bud. All right. No, no. There were restrictions. Okay, there were mandates. All right, buddy. If it there were mandates. Yeah, they're mandates. It's citywide mandates. Joey, this you was didn't have a fucking choice. Ending City period. mandates? Yeah. You, you have a fucking pluses. choice. Take people it to the Supreme, Supreme Court, Court, you cocksuckers. Okay, Joey. You fucking cowards. Yeah. <laughs> Every right. single big freedom case that's yeah. ever been won in the history of look freedom at, look at Che Guevara has over happened here. at the Supreme Court level. <laughs> All right, Harvey And you guys milk. were like, oh, no. What is we're this? Who's the guy in the Chicago Five? The fucking the trial of the Chicago Five? Who's that guy? Who's the? What's the guy's name? Well, they're, which one? The main guy. Oh, Josh, uh, uh, with the curly hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, fuck. I support it's freedom. Lost. Lost. Yeah. 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 What do you done. mean? He oh, obviously that, the person has some weird reason they don't so want to get it. Also, you have a very you had a very low chance of dying from it before there was a vaccine. So go ahead, roll the dice. I don't care. I got it, so I can feel more comfortable and, and go do things. But if you're hanging out unvaccinated, all right. Whatever. So, so you're willing to let somebody die be just simply because they 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 don't like Damn. you know? I'm not vaccine. doing it. They have I, their person. They have they have Joey. Yeah, fucking. That's what what what, what what does that mean, John? What does that mean? That's that, that's that, a big that's a big cuck opinion. That's a terrible opinion. That's a big cuck. No, it's a hero opinion. I'm saying <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> hero. If, I'm saying if 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 a virus could kill somebody, if it could, I don't think it could. You're but hanging if out it with could, if it could. I'm going to be a hero and let them live their lives. Well, economy, <laughs> it didn't go. COVID. <laughs> COVID, <laughs> COVID didn't, Look at this dirty, sweaty eye tie. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't, don't let me. people live. I'm a hero. Hold on. Let, let people on. live. Hold on. Freedom. COVID didn't go Freedom away, Freedom for the Joey. country. Co Let's Joey. save as many lives as we can <laughs> while keeping this country free. COVID. If that's a. Hey, listen. Let Is me, that crazy? Think about the list. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, let me say my point. COVID didn't go away. No. Oh, it mutated. We just decided we knew people were fed up with it and we had to let it go. We realized it that it's go not away. that deadly. There is not much different now than then. Right. You're, we, getting, we, we you're realized, out at bars going, hold on, before I have this drink, is anyone unvaccinated around me? When you're hanging out with a group of strangers, you're going, are you 
you unvaccinated? Because I don't want to kill you. This is a bullshit faggot opinion to have at the time. Like I was the, the, saying, like I was saying in this, it's probably not deadly. But if it is, hypothetically, in this scenario, I would probably try deadly, to avoid. But we don't care. We just added it to the list of things you gotta fucking watch out for. The violation if, if of freedom. Deadly as some people are implying. Perhaps then I would make this decision to not infect There's no people. difference between then and now. Over their life and you don't choices. Give a shit no, about anybody around you now. To get a the only difference now is that we have the information available to us. Or now we know. That you were wrong. I suspect, no, not that I was wrong. At the time, I was just proposing this idea. The New York Times released a statement. They go, Joey LaFleur is wrong. <laughs> I, go, what, I go, what if there's a 5% chance that this is a virus that is deadlier than we think? Well, there think. still is now, and you don't. it doesn't matter. Because it's not a You're doing the hero. We have a lot again. more data. And again, listen, like, I'm a hero, so I. <laughs> even know, if, even we if have more data that there's no way of beating this, and exactly. you still don't care. Yeah, not, yeah. You don't have that same opinion. Well, if you did, you wouldn't go out. No, I'm saying if there's a 95% chance still that this is a. a if you actually thought that you'd never leave your apartment. This virus is comparable to a flu. If you actually thought that you'd never leave your apartment. No, I'm apartment. saying 95% chance that the, uh, this is a, a not. Like, it's not much more deadly than the. Yeah, a common cold or flu or whatever. Well, it is, but like that's still it's like relative, and it's like at the end of the day, it's like we have to just move on. Like, so the reason this episode is called a uh, false argument is because I'm proposing a hypothetical situation where if P if it is deadly, would you then avoid doing it? And you didn't understand the concept of a hypothetical situation. Let's go through the so room. you started calling we'll it. We'll finish this and then we'll go through the room. We'll 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 grade this I, thing that everyone knows about and is readily available. And I'm they saying didn't. if you knew they were unvaccinated, yeah, you don't care still. I don't. What care. am I not supposed? I'm not supposed to hang out yeah. with them. No, I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's insane. No, I like the, wanna... the whole reason I got the vaccine. I, I don't. To this day, we've hung out. I've hung, we've been hanging out with people, and they say they they never got it. And I don't go. Oh no, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Instead, what Devin bullshit does bullshit argument. Devin sits around. Nothing going, has changed. Devin sits COVID around still going, kills two thousand people a day, probably. Devin goes. I can't wait till they activate the clot. <laughs> I've been anti. He, Devin's like I. Me and my mom have been anti-vax way before COVID. I'm vaccinated. And they're like, hey, listen, we thought the. They got a point. I'm vaccinated. <laughs> activate the clot. Activate the clot. <laughs> <laughs> they turn a key and they hit a button. I if, love, if it were up to Devin, polio would, I would still actually, be around. I would <laughs> actually, God damn it, Joey. I, I think per, the person the, 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 the shirt again. Use my, use my shirt. <laughs> this is like the worst violation of personal liberties. Guys, we need him. This, this whole thing was the worst violation of personal liberties since like the fucking Patriot Act and the precedent set by the COVID vaccine mandates is going to cause more loss. It could potentially cause way more loss of life in a way more dramatic, violent way in the future than any sort of virus. I have consistently been against mandates the entire time. If you're pro-freedom, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I am. Yeah, for my, wow. I never cared. One, in stuff. fact, I'm pretty sure that I had the virus. My toes turned all fucked up. Yeah, the up. COVID toes. I had COVID toes. My, so I had a cough, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's COVID. I was in South Dakota. I was at a titty bar. It was a, it was a biker bar where it's a strip club, and there's pregnant strippers. And I was basically <laughs> a super spreader, uh, super spreader, by the way. I go to this place, and the next day, like, I, I start, I, like, the next couple days, got a cough and stuff. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, whatever. It's not... I, I really... Never at one point was ever scared. My toes turned purple and no, red. You don't care about but, yourself, but, at the, but but with other people, you think you're like Mother Teresa. <laughs> well, yeah. so this is uh, evidence that I clearly didn't have the hysterical belief that you're trying to pretend that I had on the podcast for the people. Go ahead, play it again. Well, we'll see. Yeah, purple and red. No, it fucks you up. Yeah, you know, I, I, but, but I go... I, I look it up online, and I'm, the point that I'm making here is that never once was I concerned about my own health. The reason I got the vaccine is because I was scared of giving it, you know, affecting some old lady that right. Would die and now from it's me. been five months. That old lady has gotten it. If anyone hasn't gotten it, they just don't want. And there it. are a massive amount of people that, and, and by the, I don't want to kill somebody that doesn't want it. We were hanging out with unvaccinated people long before the vaccine. We were going to bars in the middle of COVID. It's there's no difference. No, but if I if I if I knew if somebody came up and and somebody said, what's wrong about that? I was going to bars in that. I, w I just left a titty bar where I was super and spreading. And that was my point. Super now, spreading. <laughs> at that point in time, you were acting like it's different now. But before they had the vaccine, we were going to bars. We never cared if we were getting somebody I sick. never cared ever at any point. You That's did only said. when this argument came up. I'm giving you a hypothetical scenario. This is a false argument. According to you, you don't this understand. Is wild. Logical principles. Hey, Joey, by the way. 
that person has. We they should don't literally have... listen to this argument every episode. Because yeah. Joey and I would just become like we, we, yeah. this is like the route. This is like how we become. <laughs> we like, gotta famous. argue more. We gotta argue a lot more. He's like someone who takes acid to have a bad trip on purpose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> You could kill them. They're at risk. I would say, oh, let me get away from them. I would definitely would yeah, not. Well, no, I, I, but why no, would that person be in a crowded I, bar? Because I, I they're, they're, they're dumb. Why is Stephen, kill, why why is kill, Stephen Hawking at the nightclub? I don't want to kill dumb people just because they're yeah, dumb. I don't want to kill them. No, so gonna, so gonna, this whole thing, like, I'm killing them. Like, hey, it, You're not making any points here. No, it's like we're I, hanging out with unvaccinated people all the time. You don't hit my shoulder like you like got some something on me. I continue to break. You don't get to do that. You don't get like see that bub. I, can, <laughs> I continue to break down your false argument about how I am this like conscientious objector because out of morality. I'm saying, listen, these fucking people are dumb. It's not a political stance. I'm saying they're dumb, and the virus. Anyone who's scared of it is dumb. You do say that, and then you say the polar opposite five minutes later. Yeah. You're like a guy in basketball that just can't stop traveling. No, it's because you can't understand what a hypothetical scenario is. But what you you and you can't understand just being wrong and relenting to being wrong about something. No, you have a it's mental a com- illness. No, I'm exploring logical techniques <laughs> <laughs> to ex- win an argument like a like a scumbag lawyer. Scumbag lawyer. I, I think lawyers are great. <laughs> And I think De- Devin's an enemy of logic, is what we're finding out. He's no, like, you are. He's like, well, I go by feel, dude, and I don't care. <laughs> he's like, fuck all that stuff, man. I don't care about your logic. He's like, I've in my gut, I think Fauci's a queer. You know logic? Okay, what's logical? We should kill half the population so we could like uh, have a better future. Is that is? Would you go with that? Oh, like an Oz, oh, Oz Humanius. Do you think this is this is this is this is? Do you think we should kill like most people so we can have like great lives? Because that's so logical. That, like, there's overpopulation. A, is so, that logical to you? You so think we should now, just kill, start killing yeah. people? So now them he up? understands hypothetical scenarios. <laughs> so <it's> like, <laughs> so well, and now, let, yeah, why don't you? Let, right, let, so, let, so, let's so, okay. give you one. This so is your first tour. I love these. So uh, your listen. first tour down a distracting hypothetical that goes nowhere just because you can't like lose something that you know you're wrong. I'm not an anti-intellectual psych. Psychopath, uh, dirty Italian psychopath. Anti-intellectual. So I can I can answer this question. You act like you have a big bookshelf at your apartment. Are you kidding me? I I have a I study. You study. You study. <laughs> just in general. I study. I lot. just I study. <laughs> he studies the blade. <laughs> All right, let's finish this so up. So hey, I kill five hundred thousand people and then that's million. not half the population. No, one point no, five. What was your hypothetical? Kill you just half. Gave the, you start putting every half the world in camp. So we stop. Oh. Global warming, we stop everything, and we all can have a good time. Is that is that because that's logical? How many people should does we it do save? that? How many people does it save? It doesn't save anything. It saves you personally. Oh, no, it's selfish. No, it's you selfish. Buffoon. It's selfish. Devin, I wouldn't do it. Hypotheticals, dude. This is. Yeah. <laughs> I take it back. He doesn't understand. <laughs> no, 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 that's like it. <laughs> we say we we well, we say we have an overpopulation <clears throat> issue. What's the what's the solution to that? Killing people against their will, right? And then how does that? That's save? That's logical, technically, but it's wrong. So you'd have to say yeah, like, I mean, like overpopulation. Joey logic. They'll say overpopulation. Not feeling. Doesn't your feeling tell you that's wrong? Don't do that. Overpopulation would have to kill like X amount. You'd have to give me that, and then I could. But you would make- have no feeling come into play for that one. Oh no, it'd be a tragic. If there was a button where it's like, hey, you hit this button, 150 million people die. But in you know, like it will save 200 million in yep. the future that haven't even been born yet. Sure. So then I would have like a really difficult. No, decision. you wouldn't. You wouldn't press a button to kill half the world. But it will say if it saves humanity from being eradicated. Sure, that's yeah, that's a better hypothetical. And Jesus you know what? Fucking Christ! It's an Ozymandias, and thank you, John, for understanding. Uh, you know, Joey's false trying to arguments. get me back on his side. I, I love Ozymandias. I don't, I don't I want you on my side. I just, <laughs> <laughs> you love Ozymandias. I love Ozymandias. <laughs> yeah, we, that poem we all got forced to read, and like, what was a junior high? Or oh, it's a poem. Like, I thought it was a breaking bad episode. <laughs> it's a big, it's a, in the air. I don't know what you want out of me. Well, someone at this- You are here, I guess, and you don't want the vaccine. I, I This whole idea now that it's like, I'm personally killing somebody is like, I just it's feel like it's nonsense. It's not shooting somebody in the head, but you're definitely, you have to be responsible for the consequences of your actions, for sure. 
Wow. Who is this so guy? So I'm a big... <laughs> Who's this genius on, you have on your podcast? You're not doing that now. Nothing's changed. You're not being responsible. Who's you your don't genius on the podcast? This is, this, is, <laughs> this is flavor of the week politics. Was that Lex Friedman or... <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was Lex Friedman. <laughs> Sitter to like conspiracy theorists that That's don't want a vaccine. I don't care I'm I supposed to give a yeah. shit. Why am I supposed to that, give a shit? They're still playing. Why am politics, I supposed to hold up my life them. anymore yeah, because I, I, I some person is an a conspiracy theorist and doesn't want a vaccine? Okay, more power to you. I respect that. Yeah. Why were you asking I'd, about like it, it AI stuff? Enough to just not get it, not care. I'm, I don't think that I should like fucking not be like, it would still be like harassed with this shit if I went and did I, it. I don't like. And I don't the, understand why I'm supposed to care about somebody that's unvaccinated hanging out. It's a private business. They they can make their own rules. It's Look not at like that. A, I went from caring about the person. You, you lost that. So you go. Oh, let me talk about like private business. You lost, lost, lost. Gay, gay, gay. <laughs> I'm gonna go pee. And you guys, you guys. Oh, run perfect. The show. No, yeah, this is good. I can, I, stage, I, I, can I can attack Devin without any defense. Yeah, yeah. So what I just said very simply was like, hey, it's a private business, which is what I was echoing. I've been so consistent. There's going to be a lot of dumb political idiots out there that oh, go into the up. comments and they go like, Joey, like how dare he was a cock, like he believed in the virus. At no point did I ever believe in the virus. I thought it, <laughs> I knew it was a virus. I was aware that it's a virus, but the entire time I thought it was, this was a heavy overreaction to what is just essentially a slightly more deadly version of the current viruses that we face all the time. Then why why are you so pro like? This kind of like uh, these mandatory, you know, the, these vaccine man, uh, mandates where it's like you had to force and go and see and you had to show a vaccine card to get into a business. And it wasn't up to the private business. It was up to like usually like the city or the county or. So, again, I was fully against any kind of government mandate. And oh, so you're saying like this is like it would be like an, an NAP violation, libertarian You'd be more pro it if it was like a libertarian, like each business had its decision to make. Which is so. what, the, so yeah, the city yeah. coming in and giving sanctions and pretending like they had authority over private businesses, that fucking drove me nuts. Yeah. And so, fed, and, and that's why I was saying, that, you know, if the city did that, you should have fought it in court because it's fucking bullshit. Yeah, but you know, these people are already, su their businesses are already suffering and like imagine how much would, how much more they would suffer if they had to hire a fucking constitutional lawyer to go to the fucking Supreme Court or something. And shit. they could like, have banded it together for like a, a class yeah, you action. Made, like, yeah, you could have done a class action. Could have cla like, class ACL, action. But the ACLU is not going to help them. You know what I mean? Like these, these, these companies, like, you know, these. There are uh, a lot of conservative lawyers know. that would have been happy to help. But my point is, yeah. I've, Ever the, the from the beginning of this, I've been against government mandates, and it's easy to hear the argument and then try to put it into a slot or a box where it's like, oh, this semi aligns with the point that they're making on CNN. So now I'm just going to lump it in with that. Yeah. But if you take a little bit of a deeper look, the, the entire fucking thing, it was an ODD freedom thing where I'm basically saying, yeah, everybody should be allowed to do what they want to do. I've always been against I think every Devin, single Devin, government. Devin, you, you might be... Except uh, in that clip. You don't care about people's Chunga. I think, Devin, like, Joey's saying in, like, a hypothetical... Si Joey was saying it should be up to the private business to decide whether they want to let someone in or out as opposed to, like, a vaccine mandate. But yeah, I think you guys are, like, spinning in circles and arguing in retarded ways. But it's good I mean, podcasting. I, if you, if you, it should be up to... Like, I mean... I mean, this, I, in my opinion, this made the episode. But, but the one thing... It's funny you <laughs> shut the fuck up, no, you no, 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 no. mediating what? piece of shit. No, no, no. What I'm... What I'm, what I'm, what I'm what's fucking bothering you me this whole time? You a cuck time. mediator? Do you shut see up. what a cuck he is, by the way? You stepped out for one fucking second. Well, I fucking I, 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 I had time to fucking breathe. I had time to fucking breathe. I can fucking say something. you I was I want him back. No, 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 I want him back so easily. Shut the fuck up. I want him back. No, no, no. This is the fucking question. This is the fucking question. Your, your brain is as malleable as your otter, asshole. You filthy gay otter. There's a uh, <laughs> <laughs> filthy gay otter. No, what, what I'm what I'm trying to what I'm trying to figure out though is you obviously can as a private business, even in like libertarian world where everything's up to you know anybody, which we're never going to reach. But the thing is, is like this is a like vaccinated non vaccinated people is such a polarizing group now. Like it is essentially we're now trying to enforce a brand new protected class out of nowhere. Imagine if like African Americans sprang from the ground. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the question I think that we're all having right now. Is like, Wait, well, how do we? No, I'm saying like, well, I, just, I just said yeah, huh? But like in like a prepackaged way, like a <laughs> cruise no, control so, way, okay, and then I was listen. like, wait, what? African Americans no, no, spring listen. from the ground? No, no. Imagine, like imagine, imagine like all of a sudden you have a new class of people in the United States out of nowhere in a year. Right. All of a sudden, half the a huge 
chunk of people in the United States can now be considered a protected class. I don't think that's ever happened before. So it's like, uh, obviously, it should be up to private businesses what they want to do inside their business. But the thing is, is like, should it be up to private business if they don't, if they want to, if they can't deny service to certain ethnicities, certain religious groups, then what are we going to do when a brand new protective class comes out of nowhere and all of a sudden they have to make a decision to, oh, are, they, they can't, it wouldn't be right. If they I, were all of a sudden actually, say, no, we can't let vaccinated or unvaccinated people in this business because it's a brand new protected class. That's actually yeah. a good point. So John was a cuck and he instantly flipped yeah, with, as up. soon as you, you walked out. Fuck losers god you guys can't talk Keep okay going. here's we've been carrying the whole episode now, real quick let me just get this out but what maybe it wasn't mandated but it was it was it was zeitgeist mandated it was culturally yeah. mandated you were, you were an were evil person if you didn't do this sure. yes. no, yeah no for and sure and that yeah. was bullshit and i didn't it understand why joey was was defending that it's not a private business decision it's not like no flip flop if you, no flip flops no shirts no servers it's not some like basic fucking yeah. thing it's turning down people based on whether they shot their arm up with a fucking whether experimental vaccine now. yeah look how fast you got it back he's such a fucking well, mal I have my own fucking opinions, he's got no and I'm, I, You know what? I can fucking think. He's got no well, backbone. Oh, yeah, John should right. be called the bisexual juror. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go both ways. Who knows what I believe? I'm flip flopping over I, here. Well, yeah, I think he's a murderer. Actually, Let, well, I, I, think he's I, I, can, I can comprehend fucking like you know concepts better than either of you. And it's like watching two right. fucking yeah. Keep keep going. The one, one point seven concept GPA. Yeah. Yeah. Very broad definition of reasonable. Yeah. One point eight GPA cocksucker. Right. Well, too bad none of that gets grade. used in your life. In the in the <laughs> pedophile ward of the dorms because he's such a simpleton and from his GPA. <laughs> the pedophile ward. <laughs> Did you say the pedophile ward? Yeah, the burn 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 my college roommate. <laughs> it's a burn, burn victim ward, the pedophile ward. They got put him with the other pedophiles with 1.7s. <laughs> no, no, that's cancer, that's burn, and that's oh. the pedophiles over there. But last point on this, so we can get off this, is uh, <laughs> human beings should have the freedom to be sheep if they want to be sheep. And that's it. I would rather they don't make that decision, but if you want to be a dirty little sheep cuck, then do it. But so let's. I guess let's go to goof thread. Uh, I feel right. like we kind of let's move on there. to goof thread, and then we'll like. Yes, I really like then that. we should. I mean, we have a lot more we didn't get to, but we should go to goof thread, and then we'll get out of here because, like, yeah, 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 we've done two hours, and holy shit, we still, have to, do, we still have to do a Patreon. Do we have a video? Oh, no, we have no video of goof thread. What happened? Oh no, we do, we do, we do. Actually, I got to it. Okay, here we go. Oh, do you want to explain, Joey? Uh, what how, was... well, how about you explain? Because Goof Threat. So we uh, Goof Threat was an episode we did um, that we put out on Patreon because we did uh, a public episode at this time, and it was a it was good. And then at the end, we called a famous law office in. I won't tell you. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll you'll get the full mm. thing. But we called a famous law office. Joey gets in an argument with the lady on the phone, and he keeps like her, like being like, "Send me to the big man! Like, send me to the lawyer, this so, like so, famous so, lawyer." Uh, let me. So what? You know. What it was at the time? We just started talking about Brian Koberger, and we were saying like he's obviously innocent, which he is. Well, yeah, now, now it's kind of similar to like the the fucking. It's the COVID false vaccine. Art. It's like people are starting to realize how right we are about Koberger. He's a he's a scared little puppy yeah. dog, and, and like he you know, the whole world's framing him. When the when the news first came out about Koberger, a lot of people thought he was guilty. A lot of people thought he did. A it. lot of people thought he was guilty, but now now you walk around, you go to these, you go to places, and everyone's like, "Man, we got to get free this guy." And you're like, "Oh, your only evidence is this DNA." <laughs> DNA is such bullshit, by the His way. His DNA's fucking retarded. His DNA. Oh, <laughs> your, your, your fingerprints were found at the scene of the crime. Oh, were they, bitch? Some fucking Show me. It's too small to see. If that's so true, why don't you explain to me what the DNA fuck? is? Huh? <laughs> that's so true. How about you fucking cut? You, you sit down and you tell me, oh, you know what DNA is? <laughs> <laughs> Retard. <laughs> It's like it's the guy that you gave a swirly to in high school, yeah, and like, now he's by. He I got a microscope. Oh, now. really, <laughs> Mr. Prosecutor, pushing your glasses up, nerd. Um, actually, Ooh. we're prosecuting you. We have DNA evidence. Oh, hooey. And he sees. That's quote, what I say, hooey. Yeah, right. Enough uh, of that rhubarb. Enough yeah. of that bullshit. Sure, guys. And then he sees horse uh, manure. <laughs> 
And now he's looking at uh, Koberger, who's the, the fucking prom king. And he's <laughs> trying to take down a prom king. Koberger was like the most popular kid at his school, okay? Yeah. Let's be honest about that. Take one you look, look at, at him. that guy, you go, wow, jock, like fucking Tall just drink of strapped. Water. Radiating charisma. Yep. Yeah. Super beautiful gaze. Compassionate eyes. Oh my God. Very compassionate. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> and th there's a fucking reason why he's getting 10,000 uh, love letters in the mm -hmm. mail. There's a fucking reason for that, folks. God damn you. Yeah. <laughs> but so. <laughs> So we decided to call like one of the best, most infamous defense attorneys. Like he's, in the he's world. represented like a lot of famous true. Can't crime say who because Devin can't say who. Devin no. thinks we're gonna get sued by him if we say the name. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Johnny Cock. I care about your freedom, retard. Well, you care you about your podcast. You committed a federal crime on in public, That's, like on a publicly yeah, broadcasted show, and you it was still very, get, it was very he funny. Still, it was hilarious. He still gives me shit about not uploading. And I'm like Joey, I I'd like to keep seeing you. Yeah, that's a federal. And I crime. know it's an off chance that anything happens, but well, it's so still. I'll tell you what. Yeah, it's a fel It's a federal crime. He made bomb threats. <laughs> he made a bomb threat <laughs> to a to a to a famous law office. Yeah, what about the whole? It was a joke coverage. Well, the dust you know? settled. You know yeah. what I mean? So, I don't, I don't want to do another argument. Happen. No, I don't want to do another argument about this stuff. But yes, yeah, I so, might bleep. I might bleep it out to the best of my abilities and release it. And then if anything happens, I could just like deem it like it was parody. It was fake. But it's it's it was real. I mean, but yeah. So right before this, <laughs> he did do it. Mm -hmm. Right before this started being recorded, we called like a Johnny Cochran level infamous law firm, got a secretary. It's such a big law firm now. They're famous now. It's like Cochran level. So they have 24 uh, seven secretaries. Sweet lady answers the phone and she's like, okay, hi, this is X law firm. Like what, you know, how can I help? And I said, well, our friend Brian Koberger has been wrongfully accused of a crime. And we need your big lawyer, the most famous lawyer in the world, to get him out of this. Mm -hmm. And she was, she was like, well. She okay. was difficult. Well, no, she was like, well, is he's not in the office right now because it was 9 p.m. PST or whatever. It was late. And so she tried to hang up on me and be like, well, just call back during business hours. And then I said, no, no, no. Whoa. Our friend is behind bars. Yeah. He's Go Koberger. Our friend Brian Koberger. Uh, he's behind bars. Uh, he, I, I said, he's cold right now. You have such OGG. You even got upset at her for not believing in your faith. You're lying. That's insane. Uh, he doesn't have a blanket. He can't see his family. <laughs> and so, and then she goes. <laughs> And then, so uh, lawyers like have a thing where it's like, like doctors. Where they have if it's an emergency, yeah. you could patch it right into their personal phone. Right. So she goes, "Well, is this one of those? Is this like an emergency? Do you, do you need to talk to him right now?" And right. I said, "Yes, of course." And so she did it, and the phone started ringing, and he didn't answer. He was just like, "What? It was late. Why would he answer?" So then it goes back to her, and. I start like I go. What's he doing? He you go. What's he so busy with? And she goes like, "Sir, like this and that." And then she calls you a loser. Mm -hmm. Well, no, then, before that happened, so this is a hint. I think we explained it in this clip. We could maybe, just maybe play. Maybe. It. Well, no. So the guy dresses like a cowboy, and so in in the prank call, I said, "What's he doing? What what is this fake cowboy doing? Fly fishing? Brian Cobra is about to get he's executed." Yeah. And then so yeah, I'd play there. You're asking he wants for something it. to you happen. You want some um, threats, Joey. Who do you want to call? You want to? No big deal. It was a it, tell her. Okay. It, tell, so this is Joey. I'm a fucking retail. I, I just realized. Then after she said that, I said, "There's a bomb in your house." Yes, that was the whole point. No, I, I didn't. I, I meant to she say She gave that. you a little pushback, and you go, oh, really? Well, there's a bomb in yeah. your office. Right, so now, like, yeah, everyone's... And then, so this Kevin is the, and John are freaking out because I said a bomb threat. This is the redo episode we did where we then berated Joey about, like, dude, what the fuck? Like, that was hilarious, but what are we supposed to do? So then Joey calls a lawyer he knows, and then he calls another, his sister, who's a lawyer, and asks, like, if he's okay. Calling, but nothing, ain't nothing happening. Are you sure, like, the audio's... Patreon.com slash hatewatch podcast. This is yeah. where you can get this there. Even if it's, like... It's bullshit. Is this even a real number? Oh, here It's we working go. on mine. No, that's mine. Oh. Uh. Why is it working on mine? 
Oh, no, all my failed. lawyers, uh, much like your fucking, much, uh, yeah. That, I was just trying to call I'm protected a by the first okay, amendment. He's talking to a lawyer. Like he knew parody law and stuff like also that. Also, tell them we're not allowed to prank call people outside of so, California. So, no, yeah. So, so just let her speak. So, recording a prank phone call is illegal, but it's probably like a five hundred dollar fine or something. <laughs> but <laughs> Devin's concerned that he's going to like get sued for his entire house about this because yeah, we don't have. Tell her we don't let, have an. Let her I haven't respond. created There's an no LLC. LLC. I, yeah, I think she knows. <laughs> <laughs> she, I, she, Logan, do you have any th- insight? That's your sister, right? I mean, you said this on his podcast. I, for sure, you are. You're gonna be. You're exposed to liability. Me? You as an individual. Yes, exactly. Yes, exactly. That's, That's what I've been trying to say. For sure. For sure. Thank you. Um, so I'm liable. I'm obnoxious. Sure. Absolutely. Um, you hate yourself watching Devin, yourself? You know, I, I just, now that I've heard that. like three but, of my own arguments back to back, I'm like, how do you fucking deal with it? This, okay. is, hey, this Joe, ODD is Joe, obnoxious. if you weren't so charismatic, you would be dead by now. I'm running like, off it's of insane. pure love. Joe, you, you know? would have been like hogtied and thrown in a cell. I swamp. love you guys. You're the most charismatic man on earth. you say that? It's all pure love. But yeah, you really make me suicidal sometimes. Thank you for putting up with this. This is so funny. This is such a funny like realization. Joey realized he has a problem. Problem. Yeah, this is it's like a it's like thank you guys for it's like, like immersion therapy. This is hilarious. You, you guys have been are. dealing with a lot. It just, oh my god, it, Joey, it's all the time. It, Whoa, can I can record crazy. every night we hang out to the point where you get drunk, and if I showed you what you did that night, you'd be like, oh, okay. well, when I get too drunk, I, a lot of time I just get tired. But like, this is a dangerous medium where I just start getting argumentative and annoying. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, got, you got more energy than you think, pal. Yeah, you got more energy. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a little Duracell this battery is, uh, sometimes. It's not on fucking White Claws you and know, Joey, Lights. believe it or not, I'd rather have this version of you than the other guy that, you know. You'd rather have somebody owning you logically. <laughs> <sighs> Very good. Even back to it, he goes, oh, God, I hate myself, I'm wrong. And he goes... Well, I'm right, and you're wrong. <laughs> Worst case scenario, could anyone ever be sued? Are there damages that could ever be imagined that would take a, a house from a person on this? I, I would imagine there are no damages. Thank I mean, you. Thank you. Wait, 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 what, what law does your sister practice? She, uh, I, you know, she does a lot of different kinds of. She knows about this stuff. Did anything bad happen? No, I just I thought well, the, he threatened violence against the legal, a famous lawyer. So, so no, but did the lawyer was he harmed in any way because of? Well, so so Devin's saying that there might be psychological harm. Like I'm scared. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Thank you. I mean, okay, so it it depends. Sometimes you can get some kind of damages for. But, like there might be per se defamation, but I. It, but it would be a very small amount. It'd be a very small also amount. Also, tell her that you name you named the podcast to to them. And I, it, I said the name of the podcast. And if we post it publicly, oh, like right. is, it's already illegal. It. It's already think, that's like committing a crime. You break in, you tie people up, you commit a horrific crime, and then you go, and you can find me at the Hate Watch podcast. <laughs> it's like when Jeremy Litter takes his hockey mask <laughs> yeah. off because you see my face. <laughs> <laughs> Legal to call somebody. I think that settles hold it. On. Thank you, ma'am. Ma'am. All right, good day. ma'am we have ma'am, more questions. Ma'am. Wait. Oh, wait hold what on. can happen to Joey? Small fine. I mean, Joey, Joey, there's probably some criminal liability. Small fine. Bomb <laughs> they said minimum six months in prison. <laughs> no, yeah. John looked something up on on the internet. He thinks everyone's a lawyer. He looks something up on Google. Logan, you probably know about these let kinds the, of let people. The pers- let her speak. <laughs> I honestly, John, he sounds like a reputable source, honestly. He's a good guy. I love him, but he's, cr- he's going on the internet. Joey, Joey acts well, like sister, getting a, Joey acts John like getting sounds some like FBI a reputable source. For what is she it. fucking hearing? How does that ever make sense? And it, ma- and it makes you question her legal abilities. I hate to say it, mm. but that was not a good look for her when she just said that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah your sister. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A bomb threat to a law office, one of the most famous law offices in America, is like a no, no, it, no big deal. It was a, it, tell her, okay. it, tell her, it's a. Now she, she said what she said. Thank office. you so much. I'm gonna hang up. Thank you so much. No, no, for, I want more info. Nope. She said <laughs> what she <laughs> said. Nope. We're nope. safe to post it. That's your own flesh and blood. She she always sides against me. To be honest, you we know argue. Who, our good friend, we pause met for a second. He just. I'm just thinking about right now. 
Matty Rat in the comments. How gay is he going to get for Devin with no shirt on? Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? He's going to be licking his chops. It's going to be the gayest message ever about your chest hair and your arms. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, that was... I'm into it. Matty Rat's hot. I yeah. love Matty Rat. I think he's one of the funniest commenters ever, and he probably belongs in, like, a facility or yeah, something. Yeah, I mean, he should be on Shutter Island, but, like, his <laughs> comments are good. <laughs> He's been a Pakistani him. friend. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who you're that. Who the that fuck is. you talking? I don't know how yeah, somebody who's friend. not going to be a friend of you. Who, who does John call? Sat down with him. Oh, this is going to be Irish, like your friend. Irish bar. Who do you call John? This is bull. He's don't say his name. Oh, oh, right, right. No, no dude. Yeah, because it's going to be our friend. It's going to be like Richie or something. No, no. 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 Yeah, it's going to be Richie. It's Richie. Yeah. I thought John was going to call Richie. Can you hear this? Yeah. Welcome. Legal advice. It's the name of this episode. <laughs> Back when those vapes were still legal. Legal picks up. Yeah. He's man, a, what a time. He's a reclusive man. <laughs> Puffin man, menthol. Oh, I guess we did Can't drink to before see this, this episode. Fraud. The, oh, the one other episode we this drank on. This is the other episode we drank on. Gives you back pushback. Oh. Uh, All right. I mean, wait, I think... There, there's a funny line. Sure. Lawyers don't even answer his calls. Well, yeah, yeah. Judge Judge Lawyers lawyer, don't really do much. She didn't call much. She called a family member. She's a lawyer. She actually... For is, what? What, is she, what type of law she part. She's risking when do I start being doing disbarred if she gets bad legal advice. Go to the beginning. People and so she gave us... People told me to go to 15 minutes, so I'm just going off of the people. I don't know. Third, the thing I just said to Joey, I go, Joey, you called in a bomb threat to a, a massively famous legal company. <laughs> Law office. Law office. Uh, there, there, uh, there's a fat Midwestern secretary. And Joey has his fingers like this. Yeah. Goes, no, he's, he's he a goes, defense I'm the only one liable. <laughs> yeah, goes, you don't understand bomb threats these days. <laughs> Nobody will be at it. Nobody, Nobody will. Nothing will happen. Bomb threats are pretty simple. <laughs> bomb threats, no one gets in trouble for a bomb threat. Well, no, no, no. So what, what they didn't hear, the listeners, is that before we started this, Devin and John were both saying like, oh, we could get don't, sued for everything. I'm going to give a play-by-play don't play what? as to what happened. Just don't say the people, oh, no, the person. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a play by play as to what happened. We call First a very all, famous why, why, law. Why everybody's so go ahead. We call a very famous law. It's a, I, you, you, know, you really are like you might be the first person here? in America to fight for oh, his, that. You might be the first person in America to fight for his right to have a possible uh federal crime on Yeah, it's hands. pretty wild. I've never seen anything like this. You're actually you're such a fucking you're like a unicorn. Pro freedom. Like watching you like fight us, like we're all all John and I are doing is like, yeah, but like we care about our friend, right? Unicorns no. care about freedom. And Joey's like, yeah. You fucking assholes, send me to prison, please. I want to die. Because I was willing to challenge them in uh, Supreme Court like I was my fucking point earlier. Jesus for Christ. Offers to um, pay Jesus. a significant amount of money to represent Kohlberger. And they want to talk to a very famous, probably one of the most in, insane, insanely defense famous attorneys defense in the United attorney States. Uh, involved the huge eye fish. <laughs> because, well, and it's not like post it that we gave out. The First Amendment. We're no. not in your LLC. First we have, I, they could take everything from me. My name's on the show. <laughs> Private <laughs> citizens are protected by the First Amendment. It's Joey, the First Amendment we doesn't already, cover bomb threats. We already yes, it committed does. a... If, it doesn't cover bomb threats. If a bomb threat is made... Amendment does does not cover if bomb you make threats. a bomb threat as a goof, we okay. Yes, Joey, so I'm goof. playing devil's advocate. I'm playing devil's advocate. Joseph is correct. We have a long history of satire and goofing on Thank this. Thank you. Pub. But we don't have a long history Flip -flop, John, of making joke bombs. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't yeah. done that. Yeah. Time, media. I, I'm literally. I'm here to keep the peace between you. Queers. Goddamn flapjack. If it wasn't, if it wasn't have for a, me, you guys would be. If it wasn't for me, you guys would be taking pot here. shots at each other with a sniper Fucking rifle. Flip flopping piece of shit. <laughs> I can, I'm capable Jesus. of complex Run thought. Away, jury. Unbelievable. Capable of you. complex thought. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's let's wrap. I can look up. at things from different angles. Wait, wait. There's like there. You want more? There's like a minute left to this where right. it gets kind of funny. Prank ball phone ball. calls are an established They're part of talk radio. Doesn't matter. We're, we're it's not, illegal not in the state of California to call somebody and record <laughs> them without yeah, yeah, their awesome. consent. What? Let alone a massively famous law. What's the punishment? <laughs> What's the punishment? What's the punishment? Five hundred bucks or something. Five hundred bucks. 
prank it's phone be call. Insane. Take me to jail. What, I got a duck, duck no, what, go You're this. acting like they're gonna. I'm gonna get a life sentence for a prank Let's phone see. call. It's Let's not see. that. It'll uh, financially crippled. Yeah, probably. What bomb threat legal financially crippled? What do you? That, like? this, but we. It's like we called the people that do the thing we're afraid of. They're not going we're to. Not, we weren't even pranking like some regular guy. We're, we were trying to. We were pranking a law office. They're not going to go to court to hopefully win some insane trial for damages. Hey, our secretary is scared because somebody said there's a bomb in her house. <laughs> you act like <laughs> it's so silly. They're getting paid. My dumb secretary. Or oh, there's a bomb in my home. Okay, well, no. But That's, so, come on. It's a little scary. If you are considering making a bomb threat, do not. You will be caught and will spend a considerable portion of your life in prison. <laughs> what are we talking <laughs> What did, where did you find this? If, on the other hand, you have been, been accused of making a bomb threat, you should seek immediate assistance of a qualified and experienced attorney familiar with both state let's and federal call them. law. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. Let's let's seek it. I'll, I'll, let's call them. I'll, I'll say I've been making... By the way, I've been making uh, bomb threats for, like, years now. Nothing <laughs> ever Do you know the law of averages? Yeah, it is. One day something's going to happen, bud. I don't think so. Because I, I, I know how to Joey, cover my base. Silly Billy. I cover my base. Joey, you're not fucking catch me if you can. You you get drunk yeah. and you make bomb threats. You're I'm, not Frank Abagnale <laughs> Jr., <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm, you're a drunk <laughs> that makes insane threats over the phone well, to that's, people. For, first of all, you're scared about getting sued. That's slander. <laughs> I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> what if we all start suing each other? <laughs> we get in there. All right. Okay. All right. All right, all right folks. Patreon.com. Com slash hate watch podcast. Uh, that was our hundredth episode. Um, I start, I, mean, I apologize. We just put the lowest effort possible in. That was great. That was fun. I don't know what you're. We, about. No, we argued. It was. I think it was good. It was a fun but. time. We did. We did that the best of our abilities. And now it's time to celebrate. Hundred episodes, baby. Woo. Yay! We did it. Go it's on. a meaningless achievement. Woo, 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 woo. Celebrate gay times, come on! Four retards in a room Making fun of people, hoping they don't get sued Yahoo! Yeah! Ah, oh, you got a drug addict Who's drug. taking time off You got John, who's fat and gay <laughs> You got Joey, who's a drunk Drunk what criminal, <laughs> yeah. You got me, I suck off truckers at the socks, yeah. And that's who you're dealing with every week. You listen to the Hate Watch Pod every Monday. And then whenever I release the Patreon, I don't tell the day. Cause I don't like the responsibility, yeah. Of owing you a specific day When we release the bonus episode Celebrate good times Come on! Uh, 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 hell yeah, yeah Tell your friends, tell your girlfriend, tell your wife Tell your auntie, tell your grandma, tell your family Tell everyone you've ever met about the Hate Watch Pod And then get excited when they come back to you and tell you I don't want to talk to you again! <laughs> I don't know what you recommended to me! That's the worst show I've ever heard. Don't come um, to Christmas. You're not invited <laughs> to Christmas now. You can't come to Thanksgiving. In fact, you can't come to my child's baptism. You can't come to my wedding. Can't come to anything anymore. Because I heard the Hey Watch Pod. Come on. Yay. 100 episodes. I love you guys. Woo. I love you all. Cheers. I love you. I love you. Cheers. To 100 years. Yahoo. We're retards. Sorry, guys. Retards. This is meaningless. We know that we're being goofing. We're goofing.